scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. His name, Lord, we wait on you tonight. Lift your hands, lift your voice and begin to bless him. Bless his name. Bless him in the spirit. Lovely way. Lord, we wait, we wait for the rain. Bless it, lift your hands and bless it in the spirit. Lord, we bless you. For fire. Go ahead and sing in the spirit, make melodies. Worship. Go ahead, is our year of the rain.
your spirit that has filled our history with revival. The same spirit that moved upon the city of Welsh. You used Evan Roberts and you did mighty things in that city. You moved upon a street called Azusa. And a wide-eyed evangelist called William Seymour came under the influence of this mighty presence. And you led the Pentecostal movement. You came upon women like Catherine Coleman, Amphi Semple McFasson, Maria Woodward Eater, and they shook their generations to a steel. You came upon Alexander Dewey and a frail cobbler called Smith Wigglesworth. You came upon Madame Gudion. The spirit of the age to come. We invoke that spirit in this season of the rain. Set us ablaze. Let the rain pour. Let there be an outpouring of your spirit. Let there be an outpouring of miracles and signs and wonders. It shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Upon the maids I will also pour out my spirit. I will show forth wonders in the heavens and signs in the earth. Blood, fire and smoke. This is that, oh God, that Joel prophesied about. We are in that season of the rain. Let there be an outpouring, oh, that thou wouldest rend the heavens. Open up the fountains of the deep and cause the rain to come upon your people. We are in that season. Ask ye for the rain in the time of the latter rain. We ask. This is the season of signs and wonders. The season of the manifestation of sons. The season of miracles. The season of the emergence of ambassadors. Envoys of his majesty. The salt of the earth. The light of the world. Champions. Apostles and prophets. Men of fire. Oh let that army arise. Let that army arise, a mighty army, the fire divorced before them, behind them a desolate wilderness, they shall leap upon walls, they shall run like chariots, men who fear no evil, the fire will not burn them, but they will consume everything before them, therefore we blow the trumpet in Zion, and we sound the alarm upon the holy mountain. We declare that this is that season. This is that time. This is that moment in prophecy. We are the generation that seeks your face. Oh God of Jacob, arise, oh mighty man, and empower your army for this season. Get 
Take it higher. Give me a visitation tonight. It's our year of the rain. My goodness. Give me a visitation. You will catch fire. This is the year you will catch fire. It's a rain that brings fire. It's a rain that makes you an inferno. Pray and say, Lord, I make a demand. I ask for the rain. distracted tonight don't be distracted don't be distracted Hallelujah. Hallelujah. listen to me I am absolutely convinced hear me that every one of us here represents a sphere of influence. Every one of us here represents a jurisdiction of dominion. And so this is a summit. It's, it's a conversion of kings. 
it's a convergence of ambassadors so as you travel you travel for your sphere of influence as you pray you pray for they that are tied to your grace don't see yourself as a single entity for when they looked at the womb of rebecca they saw that they were two nations not just twins two nations we each represent territories dimensions of spiritual operation that the nations will benefit from and so when you cry you cry on behalf of a territory when you travel you travel on behalf of a family on behalf of a community Lord, we love you. We love you. We thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. Honestly, let me tell you something. We're not ready for what God has in store for us this year. We think we are, but I don't think we're ready. Because God is going to move this year in most dramatic proportions. You will see ordinary men turn into things that will make you wonder. And this is not some spiritual things. Physically, you will see men that will walk like gods in this city, across this nation. All God is asking is, do you believe do you believe? He said, blessed is she that believes. Blessed is she that believes. For unto her there shall be a performance of those things that have been spoken. Unto her. Lord, we believe. Let the rain fall without restriction. We empty ourselves and we empty our vessels. Hallelujah. We ask you to help us tonight. Spirit of the living God, we submit to you. Unveil the mysteries of the kingdom. Teach us truths that are older than us. Teach us what made the ancient powerful. Open us up to ancient vistas in the spirit. Show us realities that predate our dispensation. Grant us access to abilities and dimensions in the spirit. Show us the ancient path. Oh, that we will step into the Sabbath. Grant us grace. For there is a longing in our spirit. There is a longing upon our generation to experience a fresh dimension of the reality of the spirit. And we trust you to bring us into this reality. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Please be seated. You're welcome. Just sit quietly. Pick up your writing materials. There is a lot to do tonight. Please no, let no seats be vacant. There are so many people. If we can get some of the people to occupy the seats. Some of them are the extreme overflows. If they can come and at least stand inside. There are people under the anointing ushers. I know that you... It's a season of the rain. We will step into realities this year. We will step into strange dimensions of grace. And the Lord will grant it so in the name of Jesus Christ. You will step into levels of realities that will change your physical form. Your physical form that will alter you. When Moses stood in the glory, he did not know that he was being changed. After 40 days, he stepped out and his skin, his flesh, his physical flesh. It's, it's not just about using cream and all of that. There is a level of glory. 
I'm telling you, I want you to believe this. God is not playing games with us. If we mean business with him, he says, who has believed our report? Who has believed? You will see mountains melt as if they never existed. That's what happens when the glory of the Lord comes. You will see God turn around situations. He said, turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. I want every meeting that we come for all through this year, you must be very intentional about it. You must be very definite about it. Hallelujah. You can greet and play around after the service. But the moment you step into this building, before the meeting starts, I want you to know that you are standing upon Mount Zion. And anything, just anything can happen. Hallelujah. That's what God wants to do. Let it cover all the earth. Oh, that's our prayer. Let it cover all the earth. That's our prayer. Let it cover all the earth. Let the rain of His Spirit cover us. Let it cover all. I wrote this song years ago from my spirit. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. with your glory even tonight and bless our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the Lord the reality of spiritual laws the reality of spiritual laws the reality of spiritual laws what we'll be learning tonight will be so powerful so powerful my goal for us this year is that we will become so powerful men and women of extreme spiritual power and it will happen as we are shown the keys of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom listen let me tell you something for years for years there has been a cry in my spirit. Somehow, there is a testimony in my spirit that our generation has lost touch with ancient realities. You hear me use that word again and again. People move forward, but something in my spirit keeps drawing me back. And it says, if you can go back enough, you will find something we lost. Hallelujah. I've been intrigued every time I read things in scripture and it talks about ancient things. There is something that the ancient knew. It's not supposed to be so difficult. We have lost touch with the dimension of reality. Carnality, flesh, intercourse with Babylon cut short a flow of spiritual reality. And the Lord told me something last year. He said, mantles do not leave the earth to heaven. That means every dimension of grace that has ever been displaced in the earth, they are archived in certain dimensions here in the earth realm. And if we can trust the ministry of the Holy Spirit, he will navigate us to those parts. And we will collide with these ancient mantles. And we will do strange things upon the surface of this earth. You believe that and this is our journey show us great things oh god the reality of spiritual laws aside from revealing the person and the ministry of the holy spirit to the body of christ 
one of the cardinal areas of my call is to teach the body of Christ the principles of the kingdom to unveil to the body of Christ that dominion is a resultant effect of the knowledge and the comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom a mystery is a hidden truth that requires the agency of the spirit or another spirit that is not of this realm to open an individual to the reality it's called a mystery mysteries the occultic realm operate on the strength of mysteries coded operations that are shrouded in mysteries science cannot explain it it takes your fraternity with another spirit to open you up to those dimensions and so he said it has been given unto you to know the word know there is the word a man and a man knowing his wife it has been given to you to come into a union with the mysteries of the kingdom hallelujah if we ever will attain to that stature of spiritual authority where we can legislate on behalf of the kingdom then i want you to know that it will never just be by impartation it will never just be by stories it will stand upon the strength of something that we know what did job know that turned his financial predicament in a moment the Bible did not tell us what business he did. The Bible just said Job prayed for his friends. Mysteriously, people started coming from everywhere. Brothers and sisters, are there portals we have lost in the spirit? Have we not lost touch with certain dimensions of spiritual reality? Hallelujah. The prophet said, bring me a mystery. Who taught him? Who lectured him? How did he know? He said, I will reveal my dark sayings upon the heart. My heart is indicting a good matter. He said, yea, I speak of excellent things. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Who taught this man? Who taught the psalmist that praise was a garment that a man can wear? He called it a garment. Not an attitude of praise. A garment of praise. Every time they praise God in the place of war, I notice they use a coded language. All they said was, for he is good and his mercy endures. It was not any kind of praise. There was a type. It was like a spiritual code. Every time they began to say, for he is good and his mercy endures, he rose as a man of war. Meaning not every word invokes every dimension. There is a kind of language that makes God to operate in a certain way. Are you learning something? Help us, oh God. Look, let me tell you, brothers and sisters. Part of my resolutions this year is that I will open us up to deep things. Some of us will be afraid of some of the things we'll be learning. I've been praying and saying, Lord, prepare your people. Because it will rattle the eye the foundation of what you know to be Christianity and you will know that many preachers have lied to us hallelujah so let's prepare our hearts because this thing is not the exclusive reserve of one man it has nothing to do with the boasting of a preacher let me tell you something the hallmark of an apostolic ministry I will keep saying it if we understand. It's not just miracles and signs and wonders and manifestations of the Holy Ghost. There is a dimension of that, right? But the hallmark of the true apostolic ministry is the ability to receive the revelation that is meant for a dispensation. To understand it and communicate it accurately to the people of God. Because the apostolic ministry is dispensational. Are you following me now? And the knowledge of God is also dispensational. Meaning there is a curriculum, there is a scope of understanding that God expects a dispensation to know. Are you following me now? So that what we call eternity means the summation of infinite dispensations. Every dispensation coming with a revelation of God. And adding that revelation to another dispensation. 
Are you following me now? And that means that our dispensation has certain dimensions of God that we must know and we must touch. But it takes the apostolic and the prophetic ministry not just to do signs and wonders and to lay hands and heal the sick that is important but to be able to sustain a posture in the spirit such that we can receive these spiritual realities understand them and interpret them to god's people and then they will be able to walk in this path and you will see certain possibilities in our lives hallelujah and this is what we aim to do in this place the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. The reality of spiritual laws. Science has taught us that there are laws that govern this earth realm. They teach us in physics and, and chemistry and other aspects of science that there are laws. And scientists have been able to come into the recognition of certain physical laws. And they have been able to account for the explanation of certain tragedies that have happened to men hallelujah over time scientists began to inquire as to why men will encounter certain inexplainable tragedies and they later discovered that there were laws that were being violated unconsciously that you do not recognize that there is a law does not mean it's not there are you following me now praise the lord if a child does not know there is gravity and he jumps on a, a an altitude like this the child will fall gravity will not say i excuse you is that true there are many other laws now i want you to know that the same way spiritual laws govern this physical physical law sorry govern this realm there are spiritual laws that govern the operation of the spirit hallelujah you are able to walk very well when you can master the laws physically none of us will find ourselves walking against gravity for instance and if by any means you are to walk against gravity you know what to do to be able to remedy the the imbalance that you are creating and so you do not find yourself fighting the laws of nature gravity for instance friction for instance all of these are laws i want you to know that there are spiritual laws say spiritual laws many people have been able to find these laws and walk with these principles and they have been able to do mind-bogging things in the earth realm and as we explore this reality my goal tonight is not so much to share what the laws are as it is to bring us into a recognition that as scattered as spiritual things look as scattered as the earth is there is a rhythm are you getting my point there is an exact synergy there is a sequence there is an equation of the happening of things they are not as haphazard as we think there is a level of order and accuracy god designed the earth it is our inaccurate understanding or total ignorance to his principles that has resulted to certain levels of setbacks and limitations in our lives. And in this year of the rain, God wants to open us up to a recognition of certain principles. And you will find out that what has grounded you for years, you will work cheaply. You will now find out that the, the enemy that many of us has been, have been talking about, they are not necessarily the demons out there. Our ignorance, our lack of understanding the laws of God. Say amen. The key to kingdom dominion, please write this down. The key to dominion, the key to influence, the key to power, the key to wealth is hidden in our discovery of the ancient spiritual laws of the kingdom. I'll repeat it again. Please make sure you are writing something or at least jotting something on your notepad or so on, on the phone or so. The key to kingdom dominion the key to influence, 
influence is the capacity to alter people's mindsets the key to power the key to wealth is hidden in our discovery of the ancient spiritual laws of the kingdom there are ancient laws encapsulated in this bible there are laws that are older than us there are laws that predate our dispensation they have been responsible for the rise and the fall of kings they have been responsible for the rise and fall of champions and when we find peace with these laws we will do big things for the kingdom we have come with open hearts oh let the ancient words ancient words ever true changing me and changing you we have come with open hearts oh let the ancient words personalize it say i have come with an open heart I have come with open hearts, oh let the ancient world. Daniel chapter 19. Let's begin our journey so that we can pray. We have come with all. We have come. Oh, let me Daniel chapter two from verse nineteen to twenty two. the story of a cruel king who slept and had a dream forgot the dream and forgot the interpretation and was mounting pressure upon all his wise men and cabinets and daniel said give us time and the bible says he asked for wisdom and in the night can we read together verse 19 one to read then was the secret revealed unto daniel in a night vision then daniel blessed the god of heaven verse 20 blessed be the name of the lord forever and ever for wisdom and might are his 21 he, he changed the times and seasons he removed kings and set up kings he giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding he revealed the deep and secret things he knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him he said then was the secret revealed <laughs> brothers and sisters secrets can be revealed not everything is known by every christian are you hearing me the Bible says the secret things of the Lord are not just with Christians. They are with them that fear him. And he will reveal his covenants. He will show them his covenants. There are mysteries in our world. There are secrets that have been archived in the bowels of the spirit. And it takes men who can press to say, Lord, open my eyes. Show me the secrets. That's why all things are not possible for everybody. Is that true? Kentucky Fried Chicken, one of the great eateries around. Um, they have a secret recipe that till today has not been revealed. Is that true? That secret recipe is what makes them unique. Coca-Cola, till today... They have not revealed the exact formula and combination 
great men dwell upon the strength of secrets. In ancient time, it was a taboo to reveal the deepest of secrets. They were known only by the king and his envoys, those we call knights or apostles. They were the highest representatives of the king. They knew where treasures were hidden in castles. They knew secret places of escape in chambers. When, when they came to defeat a nation, they knew how to, to invoke the powers of those territories to fight on their behalf. It was an access that was given to them. And so as his ambassadors, God wants to show us. He doesn't want to hide anything from us. He said, come, let us reason together. I want to show you how I operate the heavens so that you can draw from this and do wonders in the earth. If you believe that, say amen. So spiritual laws are real. The spirit realm is a real realm of existence. Just like the physical realm. It is only a lot more superior to this realm. This realm is bounded by many things. There are limitations. For instance, this realm is purely three-dimensional. But in the realm of the spirit, there are many dimensions. A lot of people have preached that there are four dimensions, five. I don't believe that. I believe that there are infinite dimensions in the realm of the spirit. Because the possibilities in the spirit are defined by what dimension you can function. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And so I want us to know that the spirit realm is real. The spirit realm is real. And there is a constant interaction between the spirit realm and this realm. Every single one of us under the sound of my voice and those following us online, every single one under the sound of my voice interacts with the spirit realm every time. Whether you recognize it or not. The condition to, to interact with the spirit realm is just to be alive. Remember I began the teaching last week showing us the five elements. Right? The elements of creation. We drink water. Is that true? We breathe air. Why don't we breathe dust? We breathe air to live. Air that seems to be immaterial. But we breathe it in our material body to keep us alive. So, our biological composition is, is, a, is a, a, an intertwining of both this realm and the realm of the spirit. Prosperity is an intertwining of the spirit realm and this realm. Success in life is an intertwining of the realm of the spirit and this realm. The anointing, the ability and the agency of the spirit... When a man stands and you look at somebody with cancer and stretch your physical hand, you may not even make contact with the person and the person starts shaking or the person falls. It tells you that there is something more than what your eyes see. There is an interaction. Is that true? Watch this. I'm speaking to you. There is no, di there is no digital connection between my mouth and your heart. But what I am saying is passing through your ears and it has the ability to influence your paradigm because they are spirit and life hallelujah so we must we must rise to this reality that all we see in our world brothers and sisters is not all there is praise the lord all we see is not all there is there is more say there is more in this building right now inside and outside there are more angels than this crowd gathered here and many of them are doing many things as i teach right now some are imparting graces and all of these things right walking in partnership with the spirit and they are not only angels there are also the spirits of just men made perfect testifying like the witnesses that stood with Jesus at the Mount of Transfiguration. Elijah and Moses. Representing the law and the prophet. They are not the only witnesses. There are many others. Enoch, for instance. Right? 
many other people. So the Bible says, ye are come unto Mount Zion. And it begins to tell us all the things that happen in that place. Listen, the earlier you realize that life is entirely spiritual, that the physical manifestation is only a little portion. Hallelujah. Occultists understand this. Politicians understand this. Is that true? I was, I was studying the world religion. I'll give you a few statistics as we progress. Very shocking. I didn't know there was that much religion in the whole world. I thought there were just maybe 100 or 1,000. I will tell you the figure shortly. <laughs> and all these religions have followers. Ardent, committed, die-hard followers. Meaning the spirit of man is searching for something. Searching for a connection with its source. Somehow, mankind knows that until you interact with this, the spirit realm, there is no stability to your person. There is a longing. So we pray to a deity we call different names for many religions. And we hope that somebody out there of a higher consciousness is listening to us. There are spiritual laws. The same way I can violate gravity and violate other laws and reap the consequences of my disobedience or ignorance. That is the same way I can stumble into a spiritual law I do not know and activate its operation unconsciously and suddenly begin to see certain things manifest physically. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And then on the other hand, I can deactivate the operation of a spiritual law without knowing and begin to receive a ripple effect in the physical. Are you following me now? So it seems to me like the journey of many Christians is, is, is a blind dashing into spiritual laws. We are not exactly sure. Sometimes we touch something that activates prosperity. And ha has that happened to you? For weeks you find out that favor is coming. Everything is happening. And then it's like something happens. And it's short. There are times that you find out that everything you say in prayer comes to pass. And then other times you pray and it's as if you are talking to yourself. Hallelujah. There are times you suddenly step into a dimension and seasons and you are having dreams every night. And everything you see is coming to pass. And then certain times. What is responsible for this opening and closing of the gates of the spirit? This is what I want to teach you. The reality of spiritual lives. Even for preachers, there are times you stand to preach and you sense an unusual open heavens. You are just ministering and my goodness, scriptures that you, you read years ago that you cannot even quote normally suddenly come to your mind and you are quoting them verbatim. And other times it looks like you stand and you are wondering, I hope I'm not messing up. Listen, if you get what I'm teaching you, you will keep certain portals of the spirit open perpetually. Hallelujah. Certain people have touched this realm in different forms. Hallelujah. Now watch this. The fundamental principle I want us to understand as we explore this very sensitive teaching. Because what I'm going to be saying will rattle many of us. Hallelujah. Some of the things that I'm going to be saying will challenge us. But I want you to follow me. The fundamental principle I want you to have at the back of your mind is that everything created belongs to God. You will see the advantage of this statement as we progress. Everything created belongs to God. Secondly, all power belongs to God. Hallelujah. All power. Psalm 62 verse 11, please, quickly. Psalm 62 verse 11. It says, once have I spoken and twice have you heard that all power everybody shout all power all power you went to school what is your understanding of all power meaning if there is any 
any performance that ever occurs any manifestation of the supernatural in the earth to any degree was either a release or a corruption of power that came from God. Please follow me. God has spoken once. Twice I have heard this. That power belongs to God. Look up please. When a magician takes a white handkerchief. Please follow me tonight. And waves it. And brings out a dove out of it. What happened? What happened? Hallelujah. When a magician slices himself into half and holds the remaining half of him and is walking and bastardizes your knowledge of physics and biology, what exactly is happening? Listen to me. He said, once have I spoken. Twice. In other words, I emphasize it as a witness that all power belongs to God. That means the central force in the realm of the spirit is not astrology. It's not the constellation. The seat of power in the spirit is God himself. Just follow me. Every religion is the hybrid of a man's pursuit to uncover and look for this mystery entity that we call God. And over time, what has happened is, listen, fallen angels. You know, I spoke to you about the pre-Adamite dispensation. We spoke a bit about that, right? Realities that predate Genesis 1. You find that in Job 38, right? The creation, we spoke a bit now, last year, this year, the creation of angels and all of these things, right? Now watch this. Let me show you a few mysteries in the Bible. Have you read in your Bible that stars fought for a woman? called Deborah. Question, was she an unbeliever? <laughs> Have you had that thing that stars fought for Deborah? Have you had people mention statements like, you were born with 10 stars? Eh? Whether you believe it or not, just follow me. I'm not teaching you Scientology. I'm provoking you to be mature. Just listen to me. Are you following me now? Many of us come from different cultural backgrounds. Where at one point or the other they have brought somebody to your house. Hello, Baba, Mama, whatever. They shall brought somebody to your house. And he was able to do certain things. Whether he used cola not, whether he used whatever. And he began to unveil certain things. Either reveal the person that stole. Is that true? Stole money or meat or lied. Is that true? And then he began to reveal some things. How many of you have seen people who are not born again? They have never given their life to Christ. Yet they have functioned in what you know to be word of knowledge. Is that true? In certain tribes, they call them those whose head has opened. Is that true? People who can see beyond certain things. Listen. God has spoken once. Let it be known to you. That when it comes to the realm of the spirit, there are not many forces. There is one force. Everything revolves around him. His name is God Almighty. Whether we accept to call him God Almighty or not. Are you getting my point now? Hmm. So how come Satan can manipulate power? How come traditional rulers can manipulate power? Please follow me. How come a man can look at this lady and say, look, um, you will not give birth. Case closed. He didn't ask her whether she had faith or not. He just spoke on the strength of something he has been taught. Is that true? How come people read magical books? Huh? All kinds of books. They tell them, recite this. And the moment they recite it, things start happening. Brothers and sisters, am I telling a lie or? Pastors have been afraid of confronting this issue. Because if we don't, many of us will not know when we have entered witchcraft. If all power belongs to God, then whose power are witches using? Follow me. If all power belongs to God, 
then the religions that can turn there, there there's the video of a young guy that walked upon water physically he walked upon it huh he walked upon a building sideways and came down no pastor has done that at least i only know one bold pastor who decided is he was prophet daniel the one that lions tore him into pieces in the bad that's the closest thing that i know but the bible says once have i spoken twice that all so is it that god gave it to these demons no think about it go to zaria city and meet somebody and say i want a husband what's that thing that they carry love portion wealth portion all kinds of of things they give you and one young man is just moving and they blow something towards him he becomes absolutely confused right and starts pursuing a lady helplessly until she does whatever she wants to do with it now think about that if the bible is telling the truth that all power belongs to god i have a question by the way it will interest you to know that there are 4200 religions as of today in the world how many 4200 registered all the 4200 religions where did they get their power from satan does not create anything is that clear do we all agree question was god sleeping did they steal some of the power without his seeing what is the mystery behind the seeming strengthening of wicked forces some of you have dreams and you see all kinds of spirits appear to you you are trying to call jesus they shut your mouth with all your knowing of jesus jesus and they stand and they laugh question who empowered them if satan was created <laughs> are you prepared for this year of the rain we are going to talk we are, we are going as deep as god will help us go because we must answer some questions let me tell you when you answer these questions you will you, you will start laughing at what used to make you cry because when you see it you know that uh -uh, this is the one plus one this is what made it happen and i told you that every time you catch a light what happens in the spirit grace is given to you to walk in that reality so you can see five people struggling over a demon go out go out and you will only pass no prayer light the spirits know what they are seeing you see that because the strength of evil is darkness the bible calls them rulers of darkness not rulers of light whenever there is darkness they are authorized to rule all religions of the world claim to connect people to wealth to joy to happiness to life to peace and to god or some kind of higher cosmic power for assistance that's the whole bit behind every world religion is that not true if somebody comes to take you now and says mary ann i want you to be part of the confucius religion you think you will just come won't i promise you something i'll promise you wealth and happiness i'll promise you that whatever you want speak certain things and it will happen right if Marianne speaks it and it happens she will invite Shay and say Shay, it's easier than that other thing you are doing Shay, you will first say i don't believe it when life presses her to the world she will adopt it the strength of this religion is that the suffering of mankind is endless and so eventually people will search for solution anyhow are you getting me by the way many of these religions have their branches in africa you would think that our suffering or our our backwardness in technology will make us say what is all this find out how many africans do they are not christians they are not muslims they are not hindus right they are something else and they have followers there is an acclaimed personality in this nation I, I told you that i repented from mentioning names acclaimed personality who i think for 48 years or thereabout i don't know if it was him or or his brother or somebody who never came out 
never came out for about 48 years. Look, even if you are sitting down for 48 years, how else somehow the devil must come upon you. He must land upon your life and interact with you. Sacrifices that men have made. Now the question is, brothers and sisters, if God is good and God is great and he does not eschew evil, what would be the explanation to the seeming empowerment preachers have thought that the power you have the power satan has is your power or he collected it how did he collect it collect it back the question how did he collect it you know we generalize things that we owe people demon is working with something that is solid and provable hallelujah you prayed about something the answer did not come your brother said, come, let's go and visit somebody. They visited the person in two days. The answer came. Is that true? It's true you gave thanksgiving in church, but we really know where that answer came from. Is that true? A woman cries to God, comes to we preachers, and we prophesy in the name of Jesus. I command that cancer to go. Nothing went. Is that true? They just respect us and they won't publish anything on the newspaper. And they quietly go and meet another person. And they invoke things and they have the baby and women of God come and claim the glory. It's better let's sit down and ask ourselves the truth. And answer these questions. Or keep telling lies. There are many people telling lies in church. Many of the miracles people claim to get in church. I am telling you. They got it outside the church. They consulted a lot of powers. There are families today who will never give their children in marriage until they go and ask certain people. And they confirm is that true whether whether you're a pastor whatever you believe keep your westernization they will go and consult even if it means them buying goat ram sheep human being they will consult is that true what then is this mystery there are five religions major religions out of the 4,200 the first is Hinduism the second is Buddhism the third is Islam the fourth is Christianity and the fifth is New Age there's no time and it's not within the scope of the teaching to tell you what this individual sect if I will call them believe there are others who believe like the Hindus for instance Hindus believe there is one great God but he expresses himself in many ways meaning there are many ways to approach him right so they can have many kinds of deities or envoys that help you communicate to this god and they believe in several doctrines of reincarnation buddhism many people think buddhism worship buddha no they just feel that buddha is the person who has been able to attain that highest level of consciousness as they call it and so they model after his life same with all the other religions new age is the recent teachings that was perpetrated by the kingdom of darkness under new age you are god it's a it's a little stealing away from the bible all these religions there's no time i would have proven to you that they all have their origin from the bible that's why they can prove to any christians that's why christians are the most vulnerable is that true they take bible and show you what supports their belief you say wow this thing is in the bible meaning god must support it there comes that theory that all roads still lead to the same god have you heard those those devilish teachings and so people tell you don't worry when you go to the harbor you say look don't be scared with all this color not i'm doing it's still the same thing it's just different ways of invoking the same god and then he invokes the color not and he says psalms 1 verse 3 i say ah psalms Abba. i know psalms go ahead right to now justify that because psalms 1 was mentioned god is in it is that true what deceit what deceit all power belongs to god now watch this i want you to know this the fallen angels hallelujah 
Those we call the fallen angels. I've taught us, but I'll repeat it again just for the sake of establishing a few things. The fallen angels, when they came to the earth, please listen to me. They interacted with men and part of that interaction was responsible for supplying certain deep informations. Don't forget that they were all in heaven. Right? Certain laws are God's own laws and they are made to happen. How many of you go to the farm and pray and fast for crops to grow? Please tell the truth. After you sow, you go back and say, oh God. No. Once you sow it to the earth, you go back. A man can kill another man and steal his land and sow and still reap a bumper harvest because of the existence of physical laws. So it is. God has put spiritual laws. Are you getting my point? Now, for spiritual laws to work, please come, I'm establishing something. Come, Sam. For spiritual laws to work in the spirit, a spirit must assist you in activating its operation. Are you getting the rules? For any spiritual law at all to work, there must be a spirit entity that will assist you. It is in partnership with a spirit before any spiritual law can be activated. So if I am a magician and I'm doing a lot of abracadabra, for instance, there must have been a spirit that was invoked appeased or a demand is placed upon him is that true now let's explain our traditional festivals what happened what is the whole goal of many traditional festivals they first appease certain spirits either with people who must die or sacrifices and when those spirits are appeased the mediums that interface between the realm of the spirit and the physical realm let the people know that ah this goat the spirit has, has eaten it. Although you are seeing a physical goat. The priest ends up eating the flesh. Physically. Uh, uh, the honorarium. The, the, everything goes to the priest. But I'm saying that the whole goal. Is that the sacrifice has been received. Is that true? That's what happens. No man by his strength. Can activate spiritual laws. Are you getting my point? There must be the assistance. Of a spirit. Watch this. I want to shock you now. The Holy Spirit is not the only spirit that can activate spiritual laws. Just follow me. The Holy Spirit is not the only spirit that can activate spiritual laws. The spirits of dead men can activate spiritual laws ancestral spirits can activate spiritual laws demons and spiritual wickedness that operate in the heavenlies on the strength of the fact that they are spiritual entities they can guide men to activate spiritual laws watch this so there is a universal law in the spirit for anything to be of god and to carry to carry god's signature there is only one spirit that validates. Are you getting my point? The Holy Spirit is the only spirit authorized. The most holy spirit of God. The only one authorized to activate any spiritual law such that God becomes involved and the glory goes to God. Are you getting my point? That means, watch this. It is possible that I can use magic power and look at Sam and do a miracle, a real miracle. It happens, but it did not happen by the Spirit of God. But because it is a manipulation of a spiritual law, it will happen accurately. Are you getting what I'm saying? That means I can give a woman a child, but not by the Spirit of God. Is that true? I can use the advantage of my partnership with another spirit and remove cancer from her stomach and put back another spirit. That means I can receive word of knowledge from a spirit. Accurate word of knowledge, but not from God. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? When you understand this, listen to me. You will hold the Holy Spirit 
as a matter of life and death. Are you getting my point? Now, the problem with many men of God is when they started their journey, they started with the Holy Spirit. But they allowed their passion to make them leave the Holy Spirit. So when the Holy Ghost said, wait, I'm schooling you in this area. They said, I'm in a hurry. I must enter prophecy. I must enter this Holy Ghost. You can go. And another Holy Spirit, another spirit, really not holy. Another spirit continued the journey. Are you getting the point? And because they seem to have been progressing in spiritual things, that spirit of deception made them feel that is the continuation of the ministry of the Holy Spirit. So although in them, they feel something is wrong, there is, there is a mixing. Many men of God in this country around that we call fake are not fake. Even those who do magic. Most of what has happened is a perversion. Are you getting me? They went under certain people, certain hands were laid in them, and certain demonic forces were invoked to begin to work with them. And it activated certain possibilities, and they started gaining knowledge on certain laws. Is God helping us? Or are you afraid of the teaching? You will be changed. His glory will be revealed. When the Spirit takes over your soul, you will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. I know you will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. For you are being changed. His glory is being revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. Listen, when you hear us talk a lot about the holy spirit and emphasize him it is because there are other spirits already and if you do not embrace the spirit of god you will meet with another one eventually the day you need a job you will meet with one hear me look up you never go to a herbalist and return the same way you came did you hear what i said you never impossible every man communicates to you out of the strength of the spirit that assists him if you come to me for help and i'm a magician and you are watching me do the magic you finish and say nice man you think you just left but you did not live alone automatically that's why you will return again someone makes you return the people inside and outside both those who wanted to come or did not come the spirit of the living God drew you. Is that true? When you understand this, brothers and sisters, you will not be impressed just by everything that happens physically. You will seek to know what is the motivation and the spirit behind the operation. Many of us are, are very, once you see supernatural things, you are happy. It doesn't matter whether it came from the pit of hell or wherever. You are just happy. Right? And right now we live in a generation where many people want to enter prophecy. Young people want to enter prophecy. And, and, and they want to enter world of knowledge. They want to enter dimensions. Now, nothing is wrong with that. It's because of the revival that is coming. But Satan is already preparing a major deception. Because he has seen it. That's one of the reasons why I'm teaching this. There is a major arsenal of deception that the devil wants to release to the Nigerian church where there will be an outburst of a seeming outpouring but it's not the outpouring of the Holy Ghost and you will see men move in charismatic dimensions you will see people do things like angels right? almost no limits to their impossibilities and even they themselves will not know that they are being deceived are you seeing why the book of revelations and the rest prays that even the elect can be deceived i have prayed for many people in meetings 
anointed people ministers of the gospel and as i minister to them i may never get to tell them but they may think what they are receiving in that meeting was impartation what they were receiving was first deliverance from a strange spirit acts chapter 16 don't turn there remember a lady who had the spirit of divination is that true did she give people word of knowledge please answer me and the bible says when some businessmen found her they said you are exactly what you are looking for and they started using her you pay money to prophesy you think if the people were not getting results they will come back they were getting results she will say this will happen and it will happen and when paul i like paul so two spirits paul had a word of knowledge her too she had her own word of knowledge two spirits right and paul looks at her and she begins to say these are great men of god you know what she was looking for she was looking for partnership because human beings cannot discern the difference so that she knew that paul was only visiting the city so let's be friends so that when you leave the city they will say ah, ah if paul is not here i am here pastors hear me you must be careful in this day and age the kinds of meeting and ministerial associations you join yourself with there are many of us they invite you everywhere to preach with everybody and your answer is yes sir you think you are saving sinners you will enter the midst of devils without knowing and they will corrupt the authenticity of the grace of god upon your life are you getting what i'm saying it will be a three-day meeting you will be the one to start first you will start and there will be mighty signs and wonders when you finish devils will come and hug you and you will snap together and then the next day people will come and they will say just like the servant of god ministered yesterday we are continuing and people will catch strange spirit there are meetings people have gone to the moment they left the meeting lost came upon their lives and they started looking for ladies uncontrollably they fell under the anointing they rolled around and prayed in tongues and the brother got up with miracle power and love for girls confusion how can i be moving so much in the anointing right or somebody gets up and just begins to steal the reality of spiritual laws we constantly interact with this law watch this spiritual laws are very powerful because they are not only creative they can change realities in this physical realm are you following my teaching now that is the reason why a magician can hold a handkerchief and say sam hold it they say roll it and sam will roll it and sam will bring out a foul how does handkerchief change to a foul right what they simply did was to take advantage of the laws of creation and manipulate it are you getting my point and what is the goal the goal is to convince you to come into partnership with the spirit that is assisting them the spirit that is assisting them is not assisting them for nothing i hope you know that when jesus was on the earth he was not the only one doing miracles i hope you know remember there was a certain time the disciples were angry and they were complaining that there are some people that are doing miracles somewhere oh, jesus you are the happening man where did this and we are your other people so if it's not you it should be us where are these strangers coming from again and jesus made a very controversial statement he said whoever is not what against us is for us ah spiritual laws so deborah could look at the stars and say stars i understand what you represent to the inhabitants of the earth align yourself in a way that the powers that the men use for war will not work and the bible says the stars fought for deborah with the permission of god joshua my namesake in the bible what happened to him he looked at the sun and said if this sun goes down they are going to kill our people because of that sun stand still right daniel went to bed and the secret was revealed 
And he said, Oh king, I know what you saw. You saw a being, an image stand with the head of gold, the breastplate of silver, and you saw clay mixed with metal at his feet. And he began to describe the fall of different empires the christian empire the babylonian empire and down to the new age that attempts to communicate towards virtual reality that's the last empire the feet that is a mixture of clay and iron one side the government is soft on another side the government is hard it's a mystery he saw it described brothers and sisters listen to me the, the proof that God is in a thing is not just in the result but the spirit that initiates and sustains that process. This is where I'm driving at. The proof that a thing is of God. The Holy Ghost must be both the initiator and the sustainer of that spiritual process. Otherwise, it is fetish, it is demonic, it is from darkness even if it produces a real result i'm giving you the reason now it's producing a real result because it was the manipulation of a physical law or a spiritual law and because of the advantage of the superiority of the realm of the spirit over the physical realm it will produce results watch this every spirit that initiates a process leaves a signature of itself upon that process are you hearing what i'm saying when julius Baga builds what do they leave they build their their logo is that true if pw builds they leave everything meaning if satan gives a child he will leave his signature right if satan heals the sick he will leave his signature when you know this you will know the reason why many people do not experience complete deliverance or complete healing or many there are many reasons but the major reason is because satan comes to steal kill and to destroy so although he uses spiritual law there must be darkness in his operation so satan will give you a miracle that will create another problem right one miracle that creates another problem and you come to him he gives your family money and then gives another person the spirit of drunkenness when you come as drunkenness is being solved barrenness follows right there is a signature one law being activated and causes another one that's why it is the blessing of the lord that can make rich and the there will be no sorrow there is always a signature of darkness that signs upon whatever comes from satan please hear me tonight not every open door is anointed the fact if you force a door in the spirit it will open thank you jesus christ there are secular musicians that sing and for those of us who used to listen to their songs or those who listen around us we pass by when you hear their voices you know that this voice is it has a glory that is not physical are you getting me spiritual laws manipulated but they must pledge allegiance to the spirit that assisted them that's why you listen to the music and physically you receive the glory that looks like from heaven but it does something to your spirit man because those laws help satan to continue his agenda in the earth is god speaking to us tonight so number one realize that there are spiritual laws number two realize that no man can activate the operation of spiritual laws until assisted by a spirit entity number three there are many spirits that can activate spiritual laws spirits of the dead all kinds of fallen spirits but god has only one spirit that is permitted authorized to search his heart and activate these laws according to his counsel for man and the name of that spirit is the spirit of the living god is the holy ghost spirit of the living god 
He's the whole this is number one. We have not allowed the spirit of God to teach us these operations of the spirit so that we can align ourselves with these laws of the spirit. I may just touch on one of the law, maybe two of the laws. Really, we'll just touch on two of those spiritual laws and then we'll just end because I want us to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Laws of the spirit. Watch this. This guy is playing this. Did you know that he's activating a law, a spiritual law? What he's playing is a language. Your senses don't understand, but your spirit understands it. That's why you want to sit down and keep listening to it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The melodies. You know why many people are addicted to secular music? Honestly, it's not just that they are bad people. It's that those melodies are languages. They draw your spirit. But because those who sing them have fraternized with certain spirits, they draw you and they induce the operation of certain strange spirits. So you hear him play what he's playing. He's playing the strings. And he's, he's doing something to your spirit man. If a habali sits down and plays, you will keep enjoying and you will fall down. But not under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You will fall down and stand up and something will land on you. Are you getting that now? So it matters what spirit you sit under. It matters what spirit produces the result that you celebrate. It matters not just that results are being produced. Brothers and sisters, hear me. If we do not rise to understand the laws of the spirit, we who are the sons of light, I want you to know that many people will run to the devil and he will give them the result they want by operating spiritual laws and take their souls in exchange. If we do not rise to contend for the power and the grace that will cause fruitfulness in the life of women, they will go to Babalawos every day. We can be grumbling and be calling everybody fake and calling everybody. <laughs> we have to be careful because some of us are the ones who are fake. Not just because we are going to have a list, but we have refused to hold on to that which is real. See that? Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit must be the initiator and the sustainer of every spiritual knowledge we receive. This becomes our only guarantee to escape perversion. The Holy Spirit is the only guarantee that will escape perversion. Please let me surprise you and understand me. You can take just this Bible verbatim without the presence of the Holy Spirit, you can still hold, get into error. Are you getting me? You can still hold the Bible blindly and you will still get into error. There are many people who go to Habalis. I counsel a lot of people and some people come and meet me and they or their children or wives have gone to Habalis and they say they go to the Habalis and they see many books and they see Holy Bible. Holy Bible was produced by a publishing company. Some of the people who produce this thing are not even born again. Is that true? They are just doing business. Zondervan or whatever publishing company. But it is the presence of the spirit of the living God. Meaning a demon spirit can still come upon this and give it another interpretation. That's why every sect of the Christian faith uses this. But they got another interpretation by the interaction of strange spirits. Genesis 11. That's what happened to Nimrod Kush, the origin of witchcraft. Nimrod Kush, these fallen angels appeared to him. In fact, before Genesis 11, the days of Noah... The Bible says strange aliens started coming upon the earth. Is that true? And they started sleeping with the daughters of men. Brothers and sisters, our ladies are smart people. Do you think an angel will just come with wings and horn and say, um, Marianne, I'm in love with you. Would you run? If you see a beast with tail, with horn, says, I'm, before he says, I'm in love, you will run away. These beings were not daft. They came and walked like men. I told you angels don't have wings. And there is no record of angels with wings in the Bible. Those who have wings are cherubims. In fact, angels appeared with people, they ate with people in the Bible. Is it not true? 
Angels ate with people in the Bible. When the angel appeared to Mary, she didn't say, I'm afraid. She wondered what the salutation, not the angel. Meaning they had been seeing them. When the angel appeared to Zechariah and all of these kinds of people, it is the seraphs that cover. Cartoon. Films. Have, have created these things based on their interpretation and now we are not criticizing them but they have not helped us to understand the reality of spiritual things <laughs> hallelujah are we following now ah i sense the presence of god there are so many spiritual laws i want you to know that if i ask you what are the physical laws you will name them Sir Isaac Newton, in his study of mechanics, came up with several laws, right? There are the, the are fundamental laws, the first, second, third law. There are all kinds of laws. Laws of thermodynamics, conservation of matter, physics and chemistry has all kinds of law. Newton's law of universal gravitation. There are all kinds of law. Chemistry, Le Chatelier's principle of equilibrium. All kinds, the Schrodinger equation. All of these things are men and women coming together in an attempt to explain laws. There are laws that guide our understanding into quantum physics right when we do chemistry qualitative analysis and all of that we try to use the colors or or the things that emanate from solutions to be able to help us know what um, ion or whatever it is that is there all of these are physical laws in the same way there are spiritual laws spiritual laws spiritual laws bless you sam sorry hallelujah Let's touch on two of these laws, can we? I read an article. There is a powerful series on finance. When we are teaching that one, we will share it. But let me give you the preview. The anchor scripture to that, that series is, Thou anointest my head with oil. And my cup run it over. There was a relationship between the anointing on his head and the running over of the cup. Thou anointed my head with oil and my cup run it over. Hallelujah. Now, a wealthy man was once asked what the secret of his wealth was. And I got to find out that all he said was he found an ancient manual right a manual that dates 2300 years ago written by a greek philosopher that manual they seem they said seemed to contain some magic powers that even if you read just the title alone fortunes will begin to come to you i know some of you with all this message i say where is that manual i can ask god for forgiveness where is that manual? <laughs> Repent. This is the year of the rain. Many of you have, have, have suffered. It doesn't matter what. Where is that? Some of you will go and browse it after this, this meeting. Is there an online version? Let me go come and read it and come for miracle service. Hallelujah. That means, you know what this Illuminati and secret societies and all these occultic organizations do they are men and women who interacted with these spirit beings and they reveal to them a lot of these spiritual laws they reveal to them that this universe is not just sand they reveal to them that air is not just air water is not just water and they have excellently archived this principle through centuries right let me tell you these were the very principles that kings used. Did you hear that in ancient times, king had, kings had scrolls and certain things were written. In fact, part of the writings were magic formulas that would open certain doors. You see them in some of the films that you watch. All these things were an aberration of spiritual laws. What does that tell you? That means truly all things are available for life and godliness. If we can allow the Holy Spirit to take the word of God and guide us all things are really possible hallelujah 
one of the most prominent business law among many business people is what they call the law of attraction i i, I don't believe it in that sense and that law teaches that it is is a is an extension of of newton's law of universal gravitation that the earth is a living thing right and it begins to say all kinds of things and it credits the power to modern nature it makes it look like modern nature is supervising our, our our activities that's that's demonic from the pit of hell the devil will never give credit to god and they have used it and made children brilliant in school they have used those laws how many of you have have have, have seen all these things they spoke about uh, they speak about hypnotism and all of this sort i know i'm stretching you tonight some of you are wondering who am i now am i a christian no, <laughs> listen i'm training you because one day many of you who want to go abroad you will go abroad and you will look for living faith and dunamis and redeem you will not find anywhere the only one you will find is a temple a temple you must greet the priest to resume your work and once you go there, they will look at you and when you will not bow, they will ask you questions. And you say, in Koinonia, I was taught ABC and they laughed. They say, really? You know, lack of exposure is what is making some of us comfortable with this, our Christianity. Because we think the whole world is like Zaria. When you go out of this place and see the way people hate God, you will know you need more to stand. Is that true? That's why God refused you from going abroad. Because he would have, he would have, he would have converted two days. He would have, you would have left God. By the time they bamboos your mind, and then they tell you, okay, just read this portion, and you read this portion, and you go out, and people start calling you from Nigeria and sending you money. So what is going on? Ah, say let me read the other part that I didn't read again. You think you won't do it? hallelujah and the holy spirit has guided me through these spiritual laws a lot of them have been preached in the body of christ but even those who have preached them have not preached them with the level of revelation and gravity they just preach them because one person had another man of god preach it hallelujah number one my goodness pray in tongues for one minute say Lord open my eyes something is about to change in your life now I've had several encounters through the word of God I'm about to share with you I've read it in books over the years but when God began to open me up to it it changed my life forever Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 Let's see how far God will help us. We have to stop somewhere to pray. What you are about to learn must change you. I'm telling you, you will be so changed, you will be surprised. Many of you will carry the presence of God. You will carry the glory of God. You will see breakthroughs happen in your life in ways that will surprise you. Everybody read, please. One, two, read. Just the first portion, the first clause, one to read. Listen, the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, it didn't say so he will become, so he already is. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he, so he. I learned and I have seen it. I taught the heads of department during our retreat a bit of it. And the Lord has permitted me to share this now. That your life, listen to me, your environment and the quality of your life is a reflection of both your mindset and the sum total of your belief system. Listen to me. Your life, the quality of your life today the quality of your life, the quality of your environment, the quality of the works of your hands and the things that you do 
is a direct reflection of your ideologies a direct reflection of your perceptions about god about life about wealth about whatever it is the bible says as a man thinketh in his heart that means your life will eventually open up and reveal to the physical what is in your heart a powerful spiritual law that your life and your environment will eventually become a reflection of your reality my goodness my goodness that means heaven is a revelation of god's mindset heaven is a reflection of the excellency of his thoughts earth is a reflection of the mindset of mankind selfishness watch this i don't know if it was last week or so that that i said it i think i shared it during the retreat take a security man is that true take him to the office assuming you have a a corporation with three story buildings the last story building belongs to the ceo take the security man to that story building leave him there for two weeks that office will start reflecting his mindset right immediately because when the man sits on that chair his mindset will refuse that reality first he will feel he does not qualify for it and then second he will be afraid because he would think that after a while they will come and take it so he will say let me steal and loot the first thing is he will remove whether what did i say that day stabilizer he will steal the stabilizer and run away and sell it i say how can you put a the big stabilizer ten thousand is the, i mean the, the light is regulated from nepa on or, or what what they call them now? power holding company praise god so he will steal it the next time he will see a beautiful artwork and he will say how much will they sell this one please he said twenty thousand i said go and sell it there are two sell one and leave one right you give him a glass cup he says no package them together let's sell it buy me a rubber cup please I'm, I'm contented his mindset is already playing out he will step into the place dirty and won't clean it right he will eat food and leave it there he will leave that document he will take any piece of paper and clean water with it not knowing what the document is at the end of two weeks that office has reflected his ideology that's why those who get who wants to be a millionaire none of them ends up being a true millionaire after five years because what they are, what they have gotten does not subscribe to the truth the principles that brought it you never become wealthy by receiving dash money i'm telling you this there are people who receive hundred thousand every month maybe from parents or well-wishers but the revelation they have about prosperity about god about money drives wealth away from them is that true are you getting me there are men of god whose churches you will never see miracles happen because there is a mindset about miracles they have that will never allow the holy spirit to bless people is that true they don't want to see anybody fall under the anointing they don't disturb us with noise we want order in this church and because of that although they are god fearing the holy spirit wants to do great things but their ideology so listen to me the only way to change your life is to change your mindset and your perception listen to me i was teaching the leaders and i taught them this i told them do you know why some ministries have the best of everything have you wondered why you see certain ministries the best keyboardists the best um computer um people the best sound people let me tell you why because the 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 mindset of that man right will bring to that ministry people who are consistent with his ideology there goes the same birds of the same feathers do what so the bible says this in proverbs chapter 4 now right 4 verse 23 it says guard your heart you see that with all diligence this is the bible 
He said, keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are what? The issues. The quality of your life is locked up within your mindset. I believe God for anything. I believe God can take this ministry to any height. Hallelujah. I do not ever believe that there can be limitations in the work of God. That's my mindset. Right? That's why you see members of living faith. For instance, they are men of faith. Because they are a reflection of the conviction of the founder. Being a man of rugged faith. It's in living faith you hear that a man died and they carried him and rubbed oil from his head to his toe till he came back. And they come to testify. Do you have the gods to do that kind of thing? It's in living faith you hear that a man died and for three days his wife was with the man on the bed and said, you are still my husband, you are alive. And after three days he comes back to life. He did not need to necessarily change them. He first changed himself. Listen, if you are not changed, your words will not carry power. Your words only reflect the authority based on the change that has occurred in you. That's why, see, let me tell you, if Creflo Dollar or any of these people who are really well, they come right now and teach you on prosperity, some of you will be crying and you hate poverty forever. Not necessarily because what they are sharing is deep. They are communicating their reality. If Sam comes and holds the mic and begins to worship, what he is reflecting to you is an overflow of his reality. The deposit of the anointing within him. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why you can listen to another musician and nod your head. And Frank Edwards, for instance, can sit on his keyboard and play the same song and you are crying. Brothers and sisters, leaders influence people by becoming the change they want the people to be. Right? That means... When I become convicted by my ideologies, it will influence your perception and it will be easy to change you. That's why the more successful a man becomes, the easier it becomes to influence others. Because his life now has sufficient testimonies. Are we getting blessed? Many of us want to see changes in our lives in 2015. Hear me. Change will never come if you are still blaming people. You and God in partnership with his word are the only requirements for that change to come. If you do not allow the word of God to renew your mindset, I promise you, you will never get anything in your life that has not first become a reality and a deposit in your spirit. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? That's where it is out of this that all kinds of religions bring a lot of metaphysics and what they call um, astral meditation, right? So they tell you, put a picture of the, the jeep and you look at it and say, ah! They say, now see yourself in the jeep. They say, I'm driving. You see, that is madness. But I'm only trying to tell you that they stole those laws. They are an aberration, a corruption of spiritual laws that's why whenever god wants to bless a man god convinces you and makes sure you agree with him if you don't agree with him it will never happen in your life for a long time god kept telling abraham i want to change you abraham could not get it because of his idol worship mentality and god said come out i don't know what to do to come out he said start counting the stars abraham was counting and he was seen, he would count and miss. God said, do it, just continue. And his mind was acclimatizing. And Abraham said, wow. And the Bible says, finally, Abraham believed. And it was counted unto him for righteousness. When the angel appeared to Gideon, Gideon said, oh, don't deceive me. The angel took time. He didn't quarrel Gideon. Because he knew that if Gideon did not agree with him, nothing would happen. And Gideon said, I need proof. Let the cloth be wet let the ground be dry he said no problem if that's what it takes to adjust your mindset to authorize us go ahead and Gideon said now don't be offended let the cloth be dry I, I want to convince myself when Mary said how shall these things be Gabriel owed her an explanation and it took time 
to explain and she said i believe I, although i've never seen how a woman gives birth without a man but i believe and he said be it unto me according to your word instantly she got pregnant zechariah had seen a lot of spiritual laws that's why when he doubted gabriel he said let's shut the mouth of this man He's going to use the next spiritual law I'm about to teach you to change what we want to do. Is somebody learning something? Hear me. This is what makes ministry easy. I never spend time just wondering how do we publicize to get crowd. Koinonia will be a reflection of the quality of both the spiritual, the intellectual, and the physical ideologies of the leaders. You change a system by changing the leaders. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of our fathers did not change themselves. They took one bottle of Gouda and slapped you when you took one cup. Did you change? You see that? Because they have become a reality for you and they are saying, if I catch you drinking, that's the day I will kill you. Go and buy me Gouda, Joe. They just finished talking to you and they said, go and buy it. Please hear me. If you want to see changes in your life, you are going to have to find out what ideologies have kept me where I am. There are some of you who never believe God can bless you. Right? As you are looking at me right now, if God even says he will give you 100,000, you say, Amen. You know that kind of unbelieving Amen. Listen, let's not make God look like a liar. This is the year of the rain. There are some of you who God wants you to walk in levels of anointing you have never seen. There are some of you who want to, God wants you to walk in certain depths. But do you believe him? There is nothing God has told me that I've not believed. I don't announce things till I'm sure I've believed it. When I believe it, I don't care who believes it again. So be it. The word of the Lord will come to pass. When God told Noah, he said, rain is coming. Build an ark. Do you think Noah just said, yes, sir? No. Noah would have said, God, my name is Noah. Your name is Yahweh. You're, you are almighty. We are not the same. Convince me. Convince me. When Noah was convinced, after 120 years, based on X timing, he still didn't give up. We talk about Abraham who waited 25 years. What of Noah? Noah waited 120 years. I'm sure people will say, look, when we were 50 years, when I gave birth to three children, this stupid man was busy building this ark. He has been searching for gopher wood around the whole world to build, searching for gum, searching for a lot of things. And then when he finished, we now saw him going to the jungle, looking for every kind of bed. Imagine what they would have told his wife. Say, madam, did you have to marry this man? But listen, one day, one day, his confidence in God showed him. Listen, you may be tight in now. You are seeing what God is doing in your life. You are seeing the anointing of the Spirit upon your life. It may not show. The Bible says, Why we look not at the things that are what? Seen. But the things that are unseen. I'm giving you a scriptural proof. It said, For the things that are seen are what? Temporal. That means there is a level of confidence and renewal that can change anything you see before you. Brothers and sisters, do you believe this? Pastor Jakes is here. He will testify. Right from when the ministry, this used to be all of us. We form a, Aaron is here. We form a circle. And all just sit down on the floor. I made certain statements like a fool. Right? But today and listen this is not even it yet you wait and see what god will do with us oh i believe him i believe him absolutely carve upon my heart this truth that sets me free according to your do you know your academic situation can change please i'm speaking to somebody do you know your destiny can change if you keep thinking we are the helpless nigerians i guarantee you after 50 years you will celebrate golden jubilee suffering but i will feed nations huh 
I may be rubbing granite oil as, as, as Vaseline, but a day will come. Why we look not, brothers and sisters, as I look at you, I don't see the weak you. That's why I say, as I look at you, I see nations. Nations. Who told you you will not be the mother of nations? I'm 30 years. So what? So what about 30 years? Would you stand and say, I saw when I was 23, I know that the Lord told me I'm giving birth to a prophet and it's going to arise. That vision is still there. I am convinced. Yeah. The things that we see are subject to change. One day you are taking your bath and you see growths and tumors all around your body. You just say, hey, this is how I'm going to die. Cancer. And the devil said, not just cancer, fibroid, fibroid. Notice, do you know that many sick people may carry certain sicknesses for years and never fall sick because doctor has not told them. Now doctors, don't be, don't be sad. I'm just saying, because you, do, you did not know it was not your reality. Many men were carrying prostate cancer carrying all kinds of things many ladies carrying fibroids carrying a lot of things and nothing happened to them but the day they looked and said do you know do you really know the implication of ss are you aware that the way that this has been happening you won't get a child in fact the way we are looking cat is your womb self it's not looking like the womb of a human being you just say ah and you now start saying that means no marriage a godly brother comes and you say, my brother, I'm pitying you. you. I don't want you to suffer in this life. Reality. I hope you are laughing and you are... See, I'm telling you the secret to some of these results that you see. These are my contemplations. Those who know me know that my reality is defined. I never surround myself with nonsense. You don't come around me gossiping and, and, gossiping and speaking because I know that I am absolutely in control. This has become the mirror to my world. This is how I see things. I only see things consistent. When I'm going for a meeting, I know there will be an outpouring of the Spirit. I don't care whether they have faith or not. I don't care whether they can believe or not. Whether they are instrumentalists to charge the atmosphere or not is irrelevant. When I step there, I know that I bring an atmosphere. I carry my own spiritual climate. Me and the Holy Spirit, a team. The workers in this ministry have received of this spirit. That's why in the afternoon they arrange chairs and they dress. Who guaranteed them that you were coming? Did you sign a form? We having the same spirit of faith as it is written. Koinonia, hear me tonight. We are only 23 or 24 days into January. You can sit down with this, your belief system, and you will celebrate Christmas in this condition. Or you can rise up. Ah, but I know people who love God, they have died. I know people who love God, things have happened. Brothers and sisters, we are talking about you here, not your neighbor. The just shall live by his faith. Hallelujah. Do you believe this? I read a story of somebody 109 years, still alive. In fact, three women, they were even putting makeup. 109 years. Life and strong in the midst of this wicked world. They don't expect. What do you expect in your life? See, these are powerful spiritual laws. The second law. Give me five minutes. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. Quickly please. The creative power of words. I know that we have been taught that words are powerful. But I want to show you the spiritual dimension of words. There is a reason why God called himself the word. You know why God named himself the word. It says, and God did what? And God, not and God wished. Not and God expected. Not and God complained. He said the earth was dark and void and formless. And God, the talking spirit, said. 
the word said there doesn't mean and God declared what it meant was God commanded it to be so. The word said there does not just mean and God recited. No, God didn't recite anything. Say I'm healed, I'm healed. That's recitation. You are not talking. What many people have been talking in the body of Christ that they are calling confession is recitation. I'm telling you this. Con the word confess comes from the Greek word homologio. It's not just repeat what you say. Is you are given an empowerment to say it. I prophesied as I was commanded. He said, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. And you read the verses down the line. It says, and God said, and he saw. And God said, and he saw. And God said, and he saw. Listen to me. Words are powerful because when you speak a word it activates spiritual laws and activates other laws listen to me there are many laws that make realities to work the key to activating their operation is in words are you hearing what i'm saying so when you speak whether you realize it or not something is loosed and something is tied it depends on what is loosed and what is tied please follow me the bible says how did he put it now whatsoever you buy right do you bind just by tying a rope jesus looked at a fig tree and he didn't need to say the law of fruitfulness cease operation from this tree the law of regeneration stop i command the fertilizer don't enter the root again he just used words and activate all the laws that needed to be activated for that tree to shrink are you hearing what i'm saying ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So instead of learning all the laws, God gives you the keys that activates them. Are you getting what I'm saying? So when I declare and I say, I am healed, I release a lot of spiritual laws. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If we stand now and I declare, I say in the name of Jesus, the power of God will start moving in this place. Suddenly you hear people falling and shouting. Why didn't it happen now? Listen. The words that I'm speaking are activating both the operation of angels, the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Our words activate the dimension of God that is revealed in a meeting. That's why we're during miracle service. The worship people sing songs that invoke that dimension. Are you getting what we're saying? If you know this, you will know that from morning till night, some of you have activated woes and tragedies in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Listen, let's, let me show you a few scriptures. Our time, uh, I've been fighting. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, we've been closing so late. We'll see what we can do about it. It's just the passion in my heart. Psalm 141 verse 3. Media, please help us. Let's rush. So that we get up and round up. <sighs> Psalms 141 verse 3. It says, set a watch, O Lord, before where? And do what? Keep a door. Knowing that every time I speak, my mouth didn't just open. A door open in the spirit the opening of my mouth is the opening of a door in the spirit it says set a watch oh god this my mouth can lead me in trouble so set a watch set a watch over my mouth numbers chapter 14 verse 28 zipra toka shila kariata koso brande katayaraba vindeke sila kariaba numbers 14 verse 28 very quickly everyone read one to read 28 28 say unto them as truly as i live saith the lord as ye have spoken in my ears so i will do what as i hear you say not wish he said let the redeemed of the lord he already called you redeemed but he said say it let the shield of the lord say so let the prosperous of the lord say so 
let the anointing of the the anointed of the lord say so they are not reminding themselves they are activating that reality everybody say when i speak i activate realities say it again when i speak i activate spiritual laws that's right it depends on what law you activate but something must be activated when you understand this you will know that words are expensive let's look at just two more verses proverbs 18 verse 21 if you can look at that proverbs 18 you can write it down father you reign great are you lord you are greatly to be praised listen death and life are where did he say death and life are on top of your head did he say death and life are it says death and life are in the power the proceeds of the tongue and like a seed they that love it shall eat the fruit that grows from that seed the bible says the seed is the word in the parable of the sower what is the seed meaning every time you speak you sow the seed is that true he said the seed is the word so when i begin to speak even in tongues i'm sowing i'm activating laws in the spirit when i begin to pray my day is blessed in the name of the lord jesus i am lifted i'm activating spiritual laws and i authorize the spirit of god to begin to schedule opportunities to schedule certain things and you find out that after prayer you activate laws of favor as you are stepping out you bump into your destiny helper you call it coincidence the bible calls it life that your tongue released that's why job said what i have feared most has come upon me Proverbs 13 verse 3. Proverbs 13 verse 3. Please let's read it together. He that keepeth his mouth. Stop. How do you keep your life? Insurance. Answer me. I'm not against insurance. Do life assurance, life insurance. But the Bible, the written word of God, the living logos. He that keep, how do you keep your life in the spirit? By keeping your mouth. Ah. Papa Hagin said this. Kenneth Copeland said this. Those guys said these things. So many people. I speak life. I speak life. I speak life. He said, I said before you life and death. I said before you blessing and cursing. But I can only advise you. Choose. He said, he that keepeth his mouth. Keepeth what? He said, but he that openeth wide his lips, speaking nonsense any day, any time, and saying it does not matter, he says that he shall have what? As a fruit. Brothers and sisters, listen. Ladies, when we are, when we are about to pray, in the midst of your prayer, you will lay your hands on your womb and pray and say, no devil. No devil. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Some of you are afraid right now. The rate at which ladies are scared of fibroid is alarming. You are just eating too much. You look at your stomach and say, this, this, thing, this is how it starts. I have the power to create. And I have the power to destroy. The power of words is in its ability to activate spiritual laws. That's what I want you to know. Many of us have been taught that words are powerful, but what makes it powerful? Words are keys in the spirit. They activate laws. So now, it's not just blind confession. Oh, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. As if you are reciting a magic formula. No, that's madness. You speak out of the abundance of knowledge that when I declare that I am blessed, I am activating something. You wait until we have the other series that we have. There are so many things that you will learn this year. Two laws you have learned tonight. The first one is that there are spiritual laws. And that one of the laws, listen, is that to change your outside, 
you change what is inside stop wasting your time whatever you don't like outside get the renewal the mind component of what you want outside bill johnson got it right when he wrote the book the supernatural power of a transformed mind i don't expect this ministry to ever go down we'll keep speaking it will keep rising i expect every one of you in this year to break on every side and whenever i pray for you that's what i pray i don't pray blindly and say lord may your will be done i know what his will is his will is not fake his spirit has revealed his will in his word i wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prosper for i know the thoughts that i think towards you said the lord they are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end hallelujah rise up on your feet we're going to pray we'll pray for just five minutes but i want us to take this serious because as we're praying something will be happening to you lift your voice and thank him for the word the reality of spiritual laws bless him bless him for the word don't trivialize what you have received it has changed kings it has made champions you only arise and shine when your light comes and then the glory of the Lord rises upon you hallelujah three quick prayer points prayer point number one you are going to say Lord let the ministry of the Holy Ghost be strong in my life so that you will open me up to these deep mysteries lift your voice and pray pray no matter your spiritual level even if you are just visiting for the first time pray from the depths of your heart Please pray inside and in the overflow. Lift your voice and pray. It's the year of the rain. Holy Spirit, overshadow me in a new dimension. Open me up to the mysteries and the depths and the dimensions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. You are going to pray and say, Lord, whatever needs to change in my life for my the quality of my life to change let the word of god change it change my inner reality change my mindset lift your voice and cry passionately your life is at the mercy of this prayer lord i desire a new level of excellence a new level of grace a new level of possibility in my life go ahead and pray help me to believe in you help me to believe in you help me to believe in you as the healer help me to believe you are able help me to believe you are mighty change my mindset change my perception change my perception about prosperity change my perception about protection change my perception about spiritual power change my perception about my academics change my perception about my marriage change my perception about my ministry about my business about my job about my husband about my wife about my organization 
Lift your voice and pray. Your life is a reflection, an eventual reflection of your convictions, of your perceptions. Oh, it's a powerful spiritual law. I pray you believe it. I pray you believe it. Hallelujah. Last prayer point. Father, imprint in my spirit the revelation that my words are powerful. Go ahead and pray. Imprint in me. Lord, I cancel every negative word that I've spoken in my life. I cancel it by the blood of Jesus. Confessions I made when I was angry. I cancel it by the blood of Jesus. Dangerous laws I activated that killed favor in my life. Confessions that killed my prayer life. Confessions that killed my my integrity lift your voice and pray koinonia outside make sure you are praying no matter how far you are no matter how far you are connect with us in prayer hallelujah hallelujah now find a neighbor and for the next one minute i'd like you to activate laws over that person's life activate favor activate grace activate hunger for spiritual things close every door of witchcraft close every door of failure find a serious neighbor that came to koinonia to pray lift your voice and pray I bless this house in the name of Jesus. I command favor upon your people. I command favor. I command long life. I sow seeds of greatness. I sow seeds of power. I release the operation of the Holy Ghost upon lives, upon families. I command supernatural dreams. I command visions. I release encounters with the Holy Ghost. Encounters with the spirit of might. Encounters of favor. Encounters of power. I command no death, no accident, no terrorism, no bomb blast, no witchcraft. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I command every law that has been activated, that is being manipulated by darkness over your life to bring failure, to bring woes. I cancel it. By the blood of the eternal covenant. Bless your neighbor. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. Let the fountain of the heavens be open for you. Let men look for you. May they bless you. May you become the subject of discussion. I bless your academics. I change your result. I change your genotype. I command promotion to your job. Increase in your ministry. Increase in your business. Increase in your anointing. When you come for a meeting like this, be conscious of four things. Number one, be conscious of every prophetic word that comes relating to your issues of concern. Be conscious of it. When these words come, don't think they are just empty speakings. The carnal man cannot discern the things of God. The word of God is like a tree. 
You have to receive the tray before you receive what is on it. Are we together now? The word of God is a tray. It carries miracles, carries deliverance, carries healings. So when you receive the word, the engrafted word, you now take what is in it. Be conscious of the prophetic word. Number two, be conscious of the covenant. Covenant is a very deep spiritual word. Many people just shout covenant around, but they don't even know what it means. Listen, a covenant is a system that commits God and causes him to vow to ensure that a person or an institution continues to receive certain predictable outcomes. It's a covenant. There is the covenant of answered prayer. There is the covenant of God's presence. There is a covenant of results. Every man that God truly calls and every ministry that God truly ordains, there are underlying spiritual covenants. The platform upon which God put his vow and his integrity that as touching this and this, I will make happen. It's true. Also, be conscious of the graces. You see that? The graces that are available within that territory. You cannot receive a man's covenant. You can only partake of it. But you can receive graces. You are a pastor. You come and your church is grounded. You only have 50 members during your annual Thanksgiving. Thank God for that. But something is wrong. God is a God of increase. You can come with hearts open to receive the grace. How about hardship? Things not working well. How about your spiritual growth? You are at the same level for five years. The knowledge of scripture, zero. Health of your prayer life, zero. You are a man of God and nobody is placing a demand on the grace of God that you have. It will frustrate you eventually. But there are graces. Every possibility in the kingdom is governed by an operation of grace. When that grace comes upon your life, your result shows. Thou anointest my head with oil. The result shows through my cup. He does not anoint your cup. He anoints your head. Your cup proves what is on your head. Are we together now? So this is very important. Thank you. And you have to understand the way this works. We are going to pray shortly. And I need you to know how this works. I want you to receive. Be conscious of the graces. Not, some of you may not, need, may not need a miracle. Like miracle from sickness or whatever. But understand that when you come. It's like an exchange of graces. Listen. The Bible says. Give us please. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. Please give it to us quickly. 2 Corinthians 9 and verse 8. Praise the Lord. Read with me, please, Koinonia. Ready? One to read. Stop. 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 God is able to make all grace. Let me explain that to you. Please, all of you, come. Stand anywhere you want to stand. Just stand anywhere. Scatter yourself around. Don't come close to me. Just stand. Watch this. Call these guys graces. The grace for prosperity. The grace for favor. The grace for speed. The grace for spiritual fire. The grace for influence. Watch this. Access to the hearts of men. This is you. This is your destiny. And the Bible says the way we advance is that we need to be in touch with all graces not some i can have the grace for prosperity and i'm rich but i suffer but i succeed you are rich but no man helps you because you don't have favor you only have prosperity the proof of favor is not money is the loyalty of men if you do not have access to the hearts of men you don't have favor you may have resources so this guy has prosperity so he will labor, wake up in the morning, sleep late in the night, eat the bread of sorrow, mix it with hard work and eventually prosper. But as far as spiritual fire is concerned, the grace that plants in a man, the hunger and the passion for the things of God is not in him. So that grace is not there. He has some, but not all. And the part, the grace dimension he does not have, the deficiency of it will show in his life. He is getting richer, but not as his soul prospers. This is the grace he needs. When you pray and intercede for this man now, God will answer your prayer by channeling him to a ministry or a man of God that has this dimension. So that in addition it will be added to him. 
are we together now now listen very carefully please look up everybody so god is one of the things that happens here is that the spirit of god continues to move like a wind and he scans your life which grace do you need in this season that you do not yet have this is one of the biggest miracle that happens in a miracle service most people do not know you sit under this atmosphere and there is an updating it's like a software god finds out that this level you are entering into there are at least 21 graces but as it is there are only four so while the meeting worship is going prayer is going there is an upgrade that grace so here's what the bible says god is able to make hold my hands so you come for koinonia miracle service dry nothing is on your head and nothing is around your life too because what is around you is a is a report card telling what is on you are we together now you obtain the grace that makes for abundance for the sake and the grace for wealth that works in this ministry forces you to love god while you are wealthy if you receive a grace that makes you wealthy and as you are rising in wealth you are leaving god that anointing did not come from this ministry the grace for this ministry has been it has been edited to a covenant to ensure that as men rise their hearts also rise for god not the kind of nonsense money that makes you leave god you don't honor anything that has to do with god again no it is as you prosper even as your soul prospers it's babylon that gives wealth that prospers you and diminishes your soul watch this so you receive this grace and then the holy spirit finds out grace for what favor come watch this praise and worship you got this one during praise and worship you didn't even know why you felt like falling you just thought that ah the song was so nice something had landed on your head are we together now this is speed hold me now my dear watch this this is what is happening in koinonia you are sitting down but you just know that there is a weight that glory something is coming on you you can't tell you are not even falling you are not shouting you will look at someone shouting and feel bad and feel like i i wish i'm the person falling whereas the holy ghost is doing very serious things and then access to the hearts of men this is your package for miracle service now you receive this watch this we now share the grace watch this watch this remember you traveled from another nation the uk us kenya wherever and then you just came and at the end of the service satan can even fool you you are from kenya oh i see please sit down madam i see how it's a kenyan uh, god bless you now watch this you can receive this and while you receive it they will share the grace and you will still feel like nothing came on you but you see the exam is not marked in church go out listen please koinonia understand what i teach you and god is able you came for a meeting and you carried this in two days someone who forgot you no listen he does not just remember i've taught you this last week a book is open in the realm of the spirit by reason of the grace that you carry watch this in one week a strange grace for illumination you think hold on you think it's the spirit of revelation it's not revelation it's speed it's just that speed demands revelation there are graces when you carry they call others too so that they will work well in your life and god is able god is able god is able there are people because of the graces you carry you will sustain the grace to fast for three days for one week remember that was a condition god gave you to allow your spirit allow him do certain things but the fortitude to fast that long was not there so the grace comes and while you wait upon the lord 10 years immediately is released within one month listen if all you see is just physical healings and deliverances you are not seeing well the major part of what calls listen 
one of the major reasons why god sends people from other nations and other places to this place is number one to be able to stand by the grace he has provided for to solve their problems but more than that to expose you to ancient mantles these are graces that were there by covenant listen there is nothing i carry that is as old as me everything i carry is older than me by far we are only stewards the grace predates us it's a relay we are running others ran it and god added on it and gave us to hold it for a generation to know the certainty of the things whereof you have been instructed please hear me if you believe what i share with you tonight you will marvel and you will wonder you can choose tonight to agree with god that every challenge except it does not have a name that in this place this night god will bring it down we're going to have like 10 minutes of serious prayer now listen please during that time of prayer forget about who is by your left and right forget about me just stay with god and pray passionately for the next 10 minutes lord i came for an encounter i came to receive healing i came to receive deliverance but i came to also attach myself to covenants i came by the spirit to receive graces outside inside online lift your voice and pray be restoration please bring them out quickly 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 let's save time please in the break to Shilakata restoration now I speak it by the spirit the power of God is still coming on people recover recover by the spirit recover I stretch my hands recover by the power of prophecy recover Recover years lost. Recover opportunities. E Paris Keparashanda la Katariata. Recover in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare God is bringing recovery. Let me tell you, you will marvel and wonder that the things you thought has left you, you are about to find it waiting for you in your tomorrow. I speak to you, may that grace come upon you now again. Recovery. Recovery, recovery, Shamana Katabadakata, restoration. I want to take authority over the spirit of delay. I'm seeing many people, your feet is chained in the spirit. You want to make progress, but you cannot make progress. Fire is falling from heaven now. I decree and declare inside, outside, all the overflows. Anyone under the sound of my voice who is under the influence of the spirit of delay at the count of three may fire from heaven fall upon those chains one two three i break those chains now be free now from delay be free now be free now be free now, be free now. I will hasten my word to perform it i will not just perform it i will give speed to my word the word is quick and powerful i declare again any family here any individual under the yoke of delay i speak to you by the spirit that yoke is broken now that yoke is broken now broken by the spirit hallelujah now i want to pray please listen i have prayed this prayer and for those of you who have missed it in time past may god grant you the grace to receive it now listen truly speaking 
there is a grace for speed please hear me a man's lifetime cannot allow the fullness of the purposes of God to be birthed some of you gave your life to Christ late already in life it's not enough to rebuke delay you must obtain the grace for speed and watch this I'm about to pray for people now and that anointing is coming on people as usual you find people running by the spirit but I need to release that anointing father I stand under heaven in this miracle service there are people who have traveled from several nations and several territories at the count of three for you and for your family that dimension of speed where 10 years can be put in one year I declare right now let it come upon you one two three take that grace now take that grace now speed Parush Kabarakata speed career speed I give speed to your life speed to ministry receive that grace right now receive that grace right now receive that grace right now speed Hello, Madonna. Hallelujah. Mommy, please look at me, ma. Don't be embarrassed. I don't know you, but I'm seeing strong witchcraft over your family. Where are you coming from, madam? Madam, I'm looking at you. I'm seeing River State. Where are you from? States. Huh? States. River State. Yes, sir. The Lord says I should tell you that from this night things will change in your life she's your mother help that woman please I'm looking at the Lord in the spirit I'm putting my hand inside a river and I'm bringing something out and the Lord says it's the destiny of this family in the name of Jesus that's the daughter I command by the spirit every planting that is not of the Lord I overturn and I uproot now in the name of Jesus Christ Who is Naomi? I'm hearing a name, Naomi. We have to hurry up. I want to pray for the sick. Naomi. Hello, Madonna. The Naomi I'm talking about is outside. Where are you coming from? Come, stand. Your name is not Naomi. Is your name Naomi? What's your name? Come, stand. Where are you coming from, my dear? From where? I want to pray for you. Your name is Naomi. Come and stand. We have to hurry up. Hold on. I cancel CS. I, Madam, look at me. I stretch my hands now I counsel CS by the Spirit of the Living God and I decree and declare like the Hebrew women you will give birth in the name of Jesus Christ I'm saying it again I correct what I'm seeing in the name of Jesus this is what doctors say baby is breached in the name of Jesus by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I correct it now may you give birth normally like the Hebrew women in Jesus name let me pray. Are you married? You are backing a baby. Where is the baby? I'm looking at you in a vision. That's why I'm saying, how can this? You know, I'm saying you came to Koinonia. You are backing a baby outside. This is the vision. I'm... You are not getting what I'm saying is this you were backing this baby when i mentioned your case yes, huh? yes, were you backing a baby yes, that's why i'm saying are you married because you look too small to be a married woman this is the real person i want to pray for bring this little baby god is i don't know whose child is this your child but god this lady you see is going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of god she looks like a little girl in the name of jesus what's her name Nicole, 
she may not know what we are doing but we stand in the presence of the people of God we anoint this lady may she become a Deborah to her generation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ my dear let me pray for you where are you from Kogi State I want to pray for you ah. immediately she mentioned Kogi State I saw what I used to see now now I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the power of God going to Kogi State Kogi State I'm praying now it's a sign and wonder every time I see that if you are from that locality the power of God comes on you immediately in the name of Jesus I command witchcraft associated with that territory even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captives shall be delivered Hallelujah. Who is Magdalene? Magdalene, my dear, come. In the name of Jesus Christ, I anoint you. There is grace. You look young, but you are going to be a mother to men. This is what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you and make it so. My dear, I rebuke the hand of witchcraft now. Release her. I'm seeing chains on you. I declare by the Spirit, release this lady now. I'm about to minister deliverance shortly. Release her now. In the name of Jesus. Please bring someone in overflow too now. A lady. The power of God is coming upon that lady. Now as I speak, overflow too. Mighty fire of God is coming. Please bring her quickly. We have to save time. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Come my dear. The grace that will want to make married men disturb you. Look at me. I come against that spirit now. Not only you. There are five other people I'm seeing. I don't know where they are. But in Jesus name. There is a, like, like, a, like an, almost like an evil anointing. That makes only married people to look for you. In the name of Jesus. By the God of heaven. I lift that negative thing off your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I hear the name Magdalene. I don't know if Magdalene, I want to pray very quickly. We have to pray for the sick. You are the covenant keeping God. you can Jesus. I decree and declare by the spirit of the living God I'm seeing your feet in mud in the name of Jesus I lift you out of this tragedy by the power of the Holy Spirit and I speak to this lady I'm seeing this lady but all I'm seeing is snakes completely I declare be free now by the spirit of the living God the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Be free right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let me pray for you, my dear. Grace for you. The favor that is on your life, I command it to start speaking. It will not only be a name that is on you. It will speak right now in Jesus' name. Your sister, your name is Magdalene. Come, in the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you. Look at me. The Lord is taking away shame and reproach from your life. These two things. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Please stand up. I speak to you by the God of heaven. The month of November, a big miracle is coming to your life. A big miracle. I lay my hands upon you 
and I declare in the name of Jesus be free right now why is this girl here this Magdalene come my dear I pray for you place your hand on your head I declare oh God let this chain be taken now I'm seeing a chain on this girl's head be removed now be removed this like the devil wanting to just bring this lady under captivity I remove it right now in the name of Jesus Christ somebody lay your hands on her so anybody just touch her release her now by the Spirit of God there's no place for you take everything that belongs to her restore it and go now now please listen I want to minister deliverance please believe it you may not know the woman from Kenya come it's time for God to change your life please stand up when did you come here uh, yesterday yesterday yes. you came here God is about to turn your life around Amen. Glory. you are still coming and you are coming with four people the next time you are coming Amen. Thank you, Jesus. madam what do you do madam, what do you do I'm a commissioner for human rights commissioner for human rights yes. in Nairobi yes. in in two weeks I'm going to be in your nation I would like to see you Amen. your nation there is a reason why I'm talking I'm not seeing you alone I'm seeing four other people yes. that the Lord wants me to pray for yes. but I want to pray for you madam because I don't know if you believe it or not you have a political destiny as you are like this looking at me you have a political destiny in Kenya and God by his spirit is going to make this happen but another thing is there is also the call of God upon your life you are a woman that love God there is is starting like an intercessory grace and a prophetic grace but you get to a point where among the graces God will give you is the grace to pray for barren women notice this grace God is going to bring this grace upon you God I'm also seeing you build a charity foundation there is going to be a mighty humanitarian foundation that I see you build I'm seeing food stuff and I'm seeing different things first it will have to do with young girls people who have been abused and so on but I see not only that I see women too women God is going to increase your influence I lay my hands upon you and I declare by the spirit carry this grace go to Kenya with it go and excel I command the two lift gates of Nairobi and the entire Kenya to be open for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ go with this anointing go and prosper may the Lord multiply your political career and may the Lord prepare you for the mighty ministerial assignment he has for you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray hallelujah praise the Lord an angel of the Lord is standing here someone will shout here under a strong anointing I just saw that grace I don't know first I think until the shout happens I know why God just from here right to the back there is an anointing I just saw a, a very mighty manifestation of the power of God here now listen whether you know it or not if there is anything influencing your, your destiny that is not of the Christ is about to give way right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. At the count of three, hear me. Whether you are inside, outside, or following online, I want you to shout that name Jesus with understanding. It's not just a chant. My Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower, not a weak tower. The righteous run it to it. And they are saved I want to pray for you I know you've shouted in other months but great deliverance great deliverance is about to come your way father I pray that every spirit in this place that does not name the name of the Christ that is sitting on the destinies of men and women manipulating their results I stand and call upon the God of Jeshurun the one that rides upon the wings and I declare let there be deliverance at the count of three shout that name Jesus 
One, two, three. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Please bring them out. Be free now. Overflow one. Overflow two. Overflow three. All the extension online. I declare be free now from ancestry. Be free from foundation. Be free from witchcraft. Bring them out. Paru salikata. Embreketeteketebarata. barata. Operations of darkness. I'm seeing a womb. Like the drawing of a woman's womb. And I'm seeing it close. It doesn't just mean physical barrenness. It means a spirit that is closing the door of results. Many people cannot get results. But right now that door is about to open. And I stand by the God of heaven. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Everyone's destiny that has been closed. So that it will not find manifestation. At the count of three. Let it be open. One. Two. Three. Be open now. 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 Be open now.
as you are showing me at the count of three may that grace rest upon you one two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now a strength grace for abundance receive supplies Let things walk in a way that will surprise you. I command things to walk in a way that will marvel you. mighty God a few minutes we are going to pray for the sick now now please listen I'm only going to do this for this overflow and overflow one that's not to mean I'm neglecting the remaining it's just a revelation that God is giving me there are two angels standing by my left and my right and every time I see this God wants me to move listen hear me except God is not God when I pass any road where you are anything that does not name the name of the Christ and any dimension that is not of God in your life it must give way now I only do this for this and overflow one afterwards we are going to pray for the sick please I want you to just believe I don't know why God does these things but I want you to believe that he is mighty and that he will glorify himself father in the name of Jesus Christ glorify yourself change everything that needs to be changed many of you will be receiving impartations that will shift you to dimensions I want you to believe it I will pray not everywhere but there are a few people I'm seeing this happen by the Spirit. Hali Shalatos, Pragados, Krekete I shift you in the Spirit. Every limitation that does not name the name of Christ. I'm praying mantles, anointings by the Spirit coming on people right now. Let that presence of God shift you to dimensions in the name of Jesus dimensions I'm seeing a chain around here I break that chain now I'm seeing a chain around here let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now break now break now break now chains be broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, God is turning your life around. Where are you coming from? Kaduna State. In the name of Jesus. Break now. In the name of Jesus. Be free now. From everything that is not of God. Be free now. Something is breaking here. Something is breaking here. Something is breaking here. Parush I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now by the Spirit of the Living God. I break it now. Mama, I break it now. I break it now. sensing an evil spirit just around here I come against you now I take authority over that influence you must go now go now go now go now go now overflow one lift your voice and pray in the spirit now listen 
listen please be your brother's keeper you don't have to touch me please be your brother's keeper so you don't enjoy yourself but as i pass here anything that is not of god is about to give way right now thank you jesus go now let it go now let it go now let it go now all time i come against you now in Release them now, release them now, release them now, release them now. I'm seeing what looks like an altar right here. Release them now in the name of Jesus. Haruza Sikete, be free now, be free now, be free now, be free now. The spirit of delay right here is breaking, breaking over someone's family. Be broken now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be broken now. Be broken now. Beauty and glory to your life. In the name of Jesus. Now watch this. Listen. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. I'm standing here and I'm seeing who is Rebecca. Rebecca. They call you Becky. Rebecca. Just not inside. Here you are. What's your name? Rebecca. Don't worry, it's okay. What's your name? Don't just come out if in the name of Jesus Christ, come. I end oppression now over your life and your family. Oh, you, my dear, your name is Rebecca. Where are you from? You are from are you from Makodi? Benway State. In the name of Jesus. I keep seeing this spirit every time I pray for people. That thing they call Aleku A L something K U. In the name of Jesus, I cast that spirit by the God of heaven. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of that spirit, you are from that region, I stand by the God of heaven. Let it come to an end now. Help them please. Let it come to an end now. In the name of Jesus. Hold on please. Right here. There is a gentle man who will be mightily used by God. I just saw a strong mantle from my head resting on someone. I stretch my hands. Lord, I don't know where they are. Let that grace come on you now. Strange mantle, prayer fire, word fire, illumination in the spirit. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. I'm standing here and I'm seeing a family with a yoke of marital delay I'm seeing something that looks like an arrow just coming from heaven right now let deliverance come now let it come now I'm still moving the hand of God is coming on people right now thank you Jesus thank you Jesus please you don't have to touch me in the name of Jesus right here financial stagnation comes to an end an anointing is coming on someone for your family financial stagnation let it be over now my dear be free now out now someone here the power of God is coming on that person be free now free from everything that is not of God New dimensions, new dimensions. I'm seeing an anointing here. New dimension. The old story must leave you. That's what God is saying. I'm prophesying to someone here. The old story must leave you. The old is gone so that the new will come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where is the woman? Wait, hold on, please. I held someone's hand now. Holding a photo of a sick patient. Where is he? Come. Who is this? Where is he? He's in China. What's wrong with him? He's depressed now. If I don't pray for him, I'm seeing him inside a coffin. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, let there be deliverance for him now. What's his name? Ibrahim. 
this is not only something affecting him this is something that is influencing the entire family but i stand by the god of heaven and i set you free in the name of jesus be completely free and i speak to him ibrahim may the power of god touch you and perfect you now and perfect you forever in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for the sick my friend this man looking at me come where are you coming from huh? you are from kogi state what do you do are you a man of god you came here trusting god for fresh fire come you're about to receive it because I'm seeing you from Kogi State. You, where is your church? Look at me, sir. Where You have a church? You are under a church. Mm. A time will come, God will give you your own work. Now God is preparing you. Be faithful. You will go, but now is not the time. You leave now, you will suffer for nothing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't let sincere people come and push you out of the will of God. But surely a time is coming and you will walk in very strange dimensions. Of the anointing father i lay my hands upon this man let his dealings with the spirit progress in the name of jesus not only an impartation a dealing that produces real power in the spirit in the name of jesus may that grace rest upon you by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ this lady with green this lady you come The Lord is about to turn your life around in a way that will surprise you. Two things will happen to you. Number one, I'm seeing restoration. God is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration. Number two, I'm seeing the gift of men. Please do listen to my message. Help them on the gift of men. God is bringing people strangely to lift you. I lay my hands upon you and I pray, may this grace be effectual. Carry that grace right now. And you will start having visions visions god is going to start giving you dreams and he will start giving you visions in the name of jesus this is very strange what i'm seeing except that i saw it i will not say it stop running away from the call you are a man of god's wife now i'm, I'm, I'm saying what does not make sense stop running from the call you are the wife of a man of god a minister of the gospel the Lord will bring performance to his word. This thing I tell you is a strange mystery. The way God works. But in the name of Jesus, I place the word of God upon that prophecy. It's time for you to not fight the will of God. It's time for you to relinquish your own will. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord praise the lord we are going to pray just one prayer point the lord is asking me immediately we do that we'll pray for the sick and we'll start submitting our request where is that young lady that came out with one mama while i was praying for her there's a young lady that was wearing glasses i don't if if you are here you are the one what do you do you are going to be very wealthy come are you a lawyer huh is this your mother where are you coming from, madam? Okay, you are the reverse woman. This lady you see is going to be extremely wealthy. Because I'm seeing you a lawyer. And you are going to, you, I don't know what area of law you are going to specialize. But I'm seeing you sitting with so many business people. This is a lot of business people. Signing contracts, helping people to process a lot of things. Millions, huh? That's what? That's where she is right now. Doing some things abroad. She's what? That's what she's doing right now, where she works. That's what she's doing now. Right now, where she works. Because I'm seeing God will just cause them to like her. It's not every man that is a foolish and a stupid man. There are people who are out to genuinely bless. Yes, and I pray for your daughter and I connect her by the Spirit. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. she will find these people. Amen. And in the name of Jesus, she will shift her to another dimension. Amen. Mama, God is saying I should tell you, forgive. Does it make sense to you? That's my husband also. He's a lawyer. But... Your husband is a lawyer? Yes, that's what was the issue nothing is happening don't worry ma do you know why you fell under the anointing 
you fell on behalf of men, all the troubles in your it wasn't just your personal falling alone there are times that you fall representing all of these troubles because this is not what I'm even saying God is saying I should tell you to forgive forgiveness now it doesn't make sense and God has not given me an interpretation but let me tell you this you see look up the average person seated here has been hurt by someone whether friends are we together uncles relatives people you trusted and they betrayed you let me tell you something about unforgiveness unforgiveness is a terrible spirit is one of the master secrets to delay unforgiveness it will keep you in one place forever you are there angry and annoyed and most of what you'll be angry about is legitimate however you see forgiveness is a type of giving understand this forgiveness is still the, the giving grace that helps men to forgive the only thing with forgiveness is that you give in advance are we together the highest form of forgiveness is tolerance where you know it will happen again and you build a system around it to not hurt you we live in a society that is so hot conscious this one hurt me this one did this there are too many things that can create offense the bible says in nothing should you be offended it's a choice mama in the name of jesus please don't cry i don't know what it is and why you are crying but my dear comfort your mother after the prayer eh? in the name of jesus what is before you is greater than anything that has caused you pain and in the name of jesus forgive in the name of jesus forgive i also pray for someone here do you know there are many couples that have not been able to forgive one another in marriages it can last for 10 years 20 years same room same bed but that bitterness especially for the men we don't know that this might be the secret the bible says for dishonoring your wife the consequence is that your heavens will be closed it's not a lie that's why you see men struggle and struggle and simple things become hard because of the propensity for bitterness make up your mind in this miracle service that you will let go and not only forgive but tolerate i wish i can tell you there are some things your loved ones are doing that they will never do again but they will do it every time a door is about to open here offense comes it's a choice i will not be offended are we together father we pray for our daddy in the name of jesus the kind of miracle that god will do in the life of this man let it be so powerful that everybody around will know that this is the doing of the lord i decree it and i establish it in the name of jesus christ there is a gentleman here we are going to pray goodness you see how time just runs there's a gentleman here you are a member of mountain of fire where are you mountain of fire you are a serious brother mountain of fire now please I'm, I'm not just saying you attend don't listen to instructions please right mfm my friend you are serious you come from where mfm kano mfm kano, kano. how about yes, you kano. mfm calabar yes, how about you lagos lagos i want to pray i'm not saying if you are from mfm just come out like that they are particular people it doesn't matter what denomination you are from once you are here huh this is a universal this is a master key it will complement on what every grace and every man and woman of god is doing but i want to pray for you my friend i i'm going i'm first going to pray for you where are you from i'm from a quiet bomb state there is serious witchcraft sitting on your desk yes, i hope sir. you are not embarrassed yes sir yes sir huh? you need help you have prayed stand up please you are a prayer warrior you can pray you can do fasting yes, sir. huh sometimes you just need a grace to help you you hear what i tell you i'm going to pray for you if i don't pray for you i'm seeing the spirit of death start sweeping people in your family like that like play like play until it starts killing people but let me tell you don't despise yourself you need a lot of mentorship but you are going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of god this brother you see is very serious with god huh 
very serious with God. You just need the right support, impartations, and a mentorship system that makes for balance in your life. Hold my hand. Father, what's your name? Huh? Anthony. Tony, in the name of Jesus, everything that represents witchcraft, I join my faith with that of your father and your leader, Dr. Daniel Odikoya, and I decree in the name of Jesus, be free now. I decree by the power of the Holy Spirit, the spirit of death far from your dwelling, in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Who is looking for a job? Uh -uh, I'm not saying I'm not unemployment. I'm talking to these guys. That I, of course, I know that people are trusting God for jobs. Where did you apply? Huh? Kaduna State Service. The Lord says I should pray for you that they will give you. Do I know you applied for a job? Stand up. prophecy is powerful in a moment God can just change things like that my dear let me tell you this it's not even the issue of Kaduna State Civil Service alone huh? God is going to give you unusual influence it will marvel you are we together now hold my hands you believe what i'm telling you yes father confirm your word in a way that will surprise this lady let that rejected stone in the name of jesus become the chief cornerstone receive of that grace in the name of jesus i speak it so i make it so i establish it by the power of prophecy let me pray for you gentlemen i don't know if it's you or someone related to you but there's someone god is giving a job someone looking for a job but i want to pray for you father you called out the gentlemen from MFM Kano and the remaining places. I decree and declare by the God of heaven that everything that represents witchcraft in your life, let it give way now. In the name of Jesus, let it give way now. Even by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm not going to ask you to come. God bless you. But I'm lifting up my hand. I'm seeing... You know how you cover a bride when you are about to marry before they remove that thing from her face this is what i'm seeing but that one is not pride of wedding this is evil covering your entire a human being with almost no head huh? and the lord is saying i should pray that that veil be torn i don't know who that person is but right now the power of god is going there there, there are many of you i perceive in the name of jesus that veil that has covered you so that no good thing finds you by the God of heaven and in the name of Jesus the Christ of God I declare that veil torn into pieces now torn into pieces now inside outside online torn into pieces now the last case I attend to and then we we'll begin to pray for the sick nothing ever lasts in your hand this is the problem you are trusting God for in fact is one of your requests nothing many good things continue to happen but they never last if a, if a season of open door comes three four months sometimes men can come into your life or women can come into your life and after two three months for reasons you cannot explain you have never sustained any blessing for up to two years as it comes you will see it sometimes you will go to bed in the night and you will have a dream you may see someone come maybe to molest you or to attempt to have an affair with you this is what i'm seeing the moment that thing happens it will not be up to one month and every good thing goes down but i'm praying right now in the name of jesus whoever belongs to this category every attachment you have with spirits that are not of the christ that warrant visitations in the night to molest and oppress you and spy into your liberty i declare by the spirit of god be free now be free now help them please be free now Be free now. 
my dear come you come hold my hands it's just it's a new season for you by the anointing of the holy ghost step into a new season i've touched you i saw you climbing a ladder in the spirit i release you into that dimension in the name of jesus christ we have to hurry up and pray for the sick now now please watch this this lady jumping shame and reproach i call it by his name and i command it to leave you now shame and reproach to leave you and let you go in the name of jesus someone will run by the anointing to me don't stop the person just hold the person this is what i'm seeing by the spirit this is a ministry of signs and wonders why these things i'm not saying to run consciously i'll send you back this is by the anointing please there is order in the house of god order in the church are we together the the hand of god now as i speak is coming upon you my soul longs and even thirst for you my heart and my flesh cries out for the living god for the living god incline your ears with trembling and tears of yearning to the throne of grace to seek your face i'm burning longing for you i need you i need you i need you i need you, I need you. nothing no place no one else will do i need you i need you i need you you satisfy the longing inside i declare to all of you that came out by the spirit I shift you go forward now go forward now the power that holds you down I take authority over it in the name of Jesus go forward now I release your families to go forward now in the name of Jesus now please hear me our time is gone we have to be fast now listen for those who will be laying hands on you don't think that because it is not Joshua Selman laying hands on you. Remember I told you that there is a grace that everyone who is called to serve in this ministry and designated and mandated carries that grace. We're about to pray for the sick now. Now listen, please. There are three conditions that I will want to minister, lay hands on the people myself remember don't tell lies you cannot come to the truth lying are we together don't insist that i just want joshua selman to touch that's not the idea aside from those who are in the main auditorium that i request to come out if you're trusting god for a miracle if you are here and you are suffering from cancer number one number two you are suffering from hiv number three you are suffering from barrenness it doesn't matter what overflow you are in if you have any of these three cases please with those who are in the main auditorium i want you to join them and come otherwise please all the overflows move to your projector screen and stand there all as directed by the ushers or protocol anyone trusting god for to be prayed for for healing right now i want you to make your way to the front quickly and then in addition to that the three cases i've mentioned you come into the main auditorium and join please quickly we have to hurry up overflow one please walk to your projector stand overflow two i don't know from where now as directed walk to your projector stand overflow three walk to your projector stand um my god i don't know if there's overflow two b then just walk as you are directed somebody should stand in front of them and direct them appropriately please overflow four um also just move to your projector stand or as directed 
those online following from whatever nation of the world just connect by faith as we pray hallelujah now please watch this our time is gone and we're going to be doing this very fast listen please if you are here and you're yet to write your prayer request per adventure you're coming for the first time and you need an opportunity to write your prayer request please someone help them with a piece of paper or whatever it is that you will need everyone you can pen down your prayer request now when you're done please lift it and there will be ushers PR help them protocol help them whoever needs to help them let's make it very fast overflow one two three those online I believe that theirs has also been collated we're going to have everything now so that as soon as we are done we'll pray for the request the moment you are done please wave it or pass it to the person um, at the aisle where it can be picked give them room to write if you need a piece of paper you can help your friend or wave your hand throne is established in justice and righteousness. Lord, you reign, King of the lands. You are the ancient of days. Lord, you reign. Help me. We cry home. hallelujah praise the lord thank god we have some hands tonight um pastor jakes and Ejimi will do overflow three since there will be several people there overflow three they'll be ministering to overflow three benga will go to overflow one promise overflow one two um kenny overflow two two a now uh, two a or two b praise the lord isaac overflow to be praise the lord ima overflow overflow what now what is left huh overflow the last overflow where the overflow for okay no overflow to be go to overflow four praise the lord it will have to be a very quick walk because there are several people I'll minister to the people here. Praise the Lord. Now, please listen. Please. Except they want to talk to you prophetically, don't worry. Listen, just a touch is all that you need. And I want you to believe by faith. As soon as they touch you, do what you couldn't do. Head back to your seat. Unfortunately, because of the limited time, we may not have time to take testimonies. As you would have seen in many of my external ministrations. For two reasons. One... This is a miracle service dedicated to ministering to people. If we pray and say, if you are healed, come out, it will take a lot of time. We don't have that luxury of time. Praise the Lord. So we are doing three things at the same time. One, we are praying for the sick. Has promised. Has promised. Okay. Pastor Alpha. Oh. Uh, who is in overflow? One. Only you. Two of you. Okay, Pastor Alpha, join them in overflow three. Pastor Femi, uh -huh, he, Pastor Femi should go to, did I give you a place? Pastor Femi, join um, Overflow 2. 2B, okay, with, with Ima now. 2B or 4. You are in 2, only you. Okay, so um, Femi, please join him in Overflow 4. Overflow 4, praise the Lord. 
just direct them father in the name of jesus we stand by this corporate grace and we declare let there be miracles right now by the power of the holy spirit please write your requests believing the worship team will lead us through a time of worship while we are doing this it will be very fast afterwards i will just pray and prophesy to everyone and then we'll try to tie it up tonight but whilst you are sitting make sure you connect by faith you can involve your loved ones let them know that god is moving right now he's blessing people lord we give you all the praise let there be great miracles by the spirit of god in jesus name i pray praise the lord thank you for your patience please rise up on your feet if they are still praying for you where wherever whatever overflow don't worry just just hang on there please stretch your hands to this request as we pray I'd like you to open your mouth and begin to declare by the spirit unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come please lift your voice everyone let's have all the requests here please if there are people who are here to submit I'd like you to stretch your hands to these requests as you declare that these Egyptians that I see today, I see no more forever. Lord, turn impossible situations around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, release miracles, release solutions, break yokes, oh God. Turn around family situations for your name's sake. Reveal callings, reveal destinies. Let your people find purpose. Let your people find direction. Make sure you are praying. Lord, stay the power of darkness over the requests of your people. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please agree with me in the name of Jesus louder amen in the name of jesus amen. father tonight we come to you the god that can answer prayers and lord i decree standing in the presence of your people thousands of people have submitted their requests a representation of their expectations their pain their disappointments their anticipations Lord, I decree and declare that every spirit that is back of these problems, we declare lose your grip now. Lose your grip now. Number two, I declare that every grace that needs to be released towards you for these requests to be granted by the message of the God of heaven, we decree and declare by faith we channel these graces to you every human agent whose mind needs to be touched by god to allow this request to be answered in the name of jesus we call on the father of spirits to touch them on that wise and every request that remains because of the hardness of the hearts of men we break that hardness now Father, answer speedily. Lord, answer speedily. Turn situations around. Every death sentence represented in this request, we declare that death sentence is cancelled. In the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we give you praise because we declare by faith, the very faith of the Son of God, that these requests are met in Jesus' name. As I stand upon these requests, I declare by the spirit of faith 
that in the mighty name of Jesus, that which God has done now remains permanent in Jesus' name. And I prophesy over you by the God of heaven, the Egyptians that you see today, that pursued you from Egypt to the Red Sea and beyond, I declare by the Spirit, you will see them no more forever. No matter how long you have been in Egypt, if you go out of Egypt, no going back. In the name of Jesus, between now and the next three weeks, may the God of heaven, in the name of Jesus, 21 days was the maximum time of contention in the realm of the spirit. I decree and declare it will not exceed three weeks. And every request that has been released already but has been hijacked by men and systems i mount pressure on those men and systems to allow this request manifest i mount pressure on those systems allow this request manifest let it be so in the name of jesus give jesus praise hallelujah i'm going to declare the last prophetic one over everyone here Please, I like you to be sensitive. Don't be careless about it. Hallelujah. Please, they can come and pick it. I believe in the power of prophecy. The spoken word is also creative. It can make things happen. It not only reveals what will happen, it makes things that has no business happening to happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare over you, please hear me, by the God of heaven, every door that has been closed over your destiny, I stand here as the servant of the living God. I force that door to open now. Everyone trusting God for a job, a meaningful job, not a nonsense job that does not have honor. I pray now. A job that will not take your relationship away from God. A job that will not make you compromise. Receive that job in the name of Jesus. I pray for your spiritual life. The kind of fire that you need on your prayer life in this season. I speak over you. Receive fresh fire. Access to revelation access to light receive it in jesus name every helper of your destiny who must show up in this season to make the word of god to come to pass i command them to appear now I preached last week on the book of remembrance let me pray that prayer in the name of Jesus I open the book both in the heavens and in the earth and I declare every good thing you have done to any man on earth I compel remembrance now I compel remembrance now every kind of barrenness biological barrenness financial barrenness career barrenness ministerial barrenness i cause it now and i command it to leave you let me pray over the spirit of death any family here appointed unto death i speak by the god of heaven be free now Number two, every family appointed unto hardship that you will never see the goodness and the salvation of the Lord. I cancel that pronouncement now. Listen, by the blood of the eternal covenant, in the name of Jesus, I cause every foundational issue that causes hardship and pain and retrogression over your life now
the kind of honor you have never seen in your life i speak to you by the spirit step into it let me pray for favor i will never stop praying this prayer till you carry it bodily access to the hearts of kings access to the resources of kings receive it now by favor restoration of visions dreams listen there are many of you who used to have dreams and encounters nothing crosses over you without your eyes seeing it but it looks like you are becoming like eli your eyes becoming dimmed i pray for you i fan back your vision to flames in the name of jesus every pattern that is in any family you see it in your siblings you see it in your life i declare let it be broken now anyone in ministry here please hear me i speak to you as you return back to your various stations let fire fall upon your altar i pray for everyone in business dying business dead business let it come back to life now please don't just say amen believe creation is happening everything god showed you from the beginning of this year and told you should have entered your hand by now but the devil is adding 30 extra years to your 400 years i push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ hear me i speak to you by the god of heaven any man that fights you goes down instantly And anyone holding what is yours and has vowed not to release it in the name of Jesus may God humble the pride of wicked men anyone who has said over my dead body for this family to move may God answer their prayers I open the door of favor towards every family here in the name of Jesus all our ladies and all the women that are due to give birth I declare give birth like the Hebrew women in the name of Jesus let me pray for all the gentlemen our time is gone but I must pray for you the grace that establishes a man early may that grace rest on you for those of you who are still 30 years 35 40 50 still loitering your parents house eating your mother's food not just as honor but as a necessity in the name of jesus by the god who is the lifter of men I declare may that reproach live your life now anyone here called barren in Jesus name by November miracle service you come here pregnant already let me pray for every ministry here every prayer group every platform intercessory groups churches fresh grace for you in the name of Jesus Christ the final prayer I'm going to pray for you honor is what makes men reward you listen 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 honor is the ability to discern the ability to celebrate and the ability to reward men for their uniqueness you can be as anointed as anything but when honor is not on you 
men will only just celebrate you from afar but you will never live a rewarded life i pray the prayer that jabez cried unto god for the bible says and jabez was more honorable than his brethren i pray for you everywhere you find yourself rise above your contemporaries let me pray the last prayer point don't say it's not important there are people here your life is not advancing the kingdom in any way this is not altar call this prayer for you to settle down and let your life advance as far as God is concerned you are time on earth if your life does not find a space to advance the kingdom not your work not your service not your worship it looks like nothing about your life there is no kingdom come represented in your life you are just living for yourself hand to mouth to marry have children maybe go to school get a job i redirect your focus now in the name of jesus christ may your life and everything involved around it cause the kingdom the power and the glory of god to be manifest in the name of jesus and every other request here whether mentioned or not i stand in agreement with you in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god receive it as a testimony in the next one minute whether you are in overflow one two three or here you are yet to make jesus lord of your life genuinely please no movement and or you are saying apostle i've handed my life over to jesus but for some reason things have just scattered around my life and i don't seem to gain any footing and bearing and i want to make my way right with god please whether you are in overflow one overflow two the main auditorium aside from overflow three please i'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here right now koinonia celebrate them don't wait for anyone to come first quickly if you're coming please come and stand come and stand apostle i'm not sure if i'm saved or not join them quickly join them quickly koinonia is this the best you can do join them quickly scripture says you must be born again if you're coming from outside please make it snappy make it as fast as possible hallelujah i salute every one of you here please lift your right hand believe that jesus is here standing before you gentlemen and ladies please join them very quickly if you're coming please come quickly 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 you're coming come very quickly thank you now say this after me say it passionately say it truthfully believing that jesus is here and he will honor your confession of faith say after me lord jesus tonight i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification tonight I ask you to be my Lord, my Savior, and my King. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that from tonight and forever, I move forward ever, backward never these three ladies didn't pray the prayer somebody direct them and let them pray that prayer the prayer is already finished you this yellow girl and those two those my sisters or shall any of you are you not christians direct them someone pray the prayer with them in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare right now begin to walk in victory in jesus name i introduce you to the ministry of the holy spirit you will know him you will walk in his ways you will command strange results in your life in the name of jesus christ i call you tonight the righteousness of god i call you that you are part of the family of heaven in the name of jesus 
all of the people who are just coming you're welcome god bless you just join that group that they are praying with and just pray the prayer that they lead you to pray in the name of jesus christ lord jesus thank you for these precious ones that you died for i decree and declare that tonight you receive by faith the abundance of grace the gift of righteousness and i declare that you reign in life go forward ever and backward never in jesus name i pray amen and amen god bless you all of you in concert i want you to follow the lady smiling at you with her hands lifted everyone please follow her and um, they will direct you to a few people hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you